Hello Leoton. Hello Kenzie. Hello Retreat Retreat. Hello Mush King. Okay. Uh, low value map. Yeah, unless you can fight floor 6 elite is a uh, 1 elite act into guardian so that's really bad yeah i cannot get more than two uh trying to get burning elite is a little bit dangerous because it's floor six burning early as possible yeah into um, floor eight force elite and no people afterwards you just have three advanced always and then you get to fire safety Post drop early um, if you want to go this way so at least it makes it a little bit safer but yeah, not very comfortable. Going something like this. Uh, so it's like either 5 fights, yeah? Or we have early shock into 4 fights into force for 6 elite here. Yeah, weird map. This <laughs> not uh, top, yeah, I hope not. Hello Gordy, hello Mike, hello Pesci Maniac, hello Marker. But I mean, if there's any map to die to the knob, it's this one. Huh? If I try to go aggressive and fail. And these options are freaking weird. Honestly, if the map is slightly more dangerous for swap and... Um, maybe the path value is better, I would take this, but here, probably just swap again. Something like Black Star, it's probably fine. We do two fight first and see whether this is doable or not. Um, if this is looking okay, we can go here and force this. Otherwise, we can go here, go here for safety, and then we see whether maybe things turn around and we can force this instead. Uh, if not, then yeah, Black Star swap into like um, one elite act is fine. It's not good. Busted Crown, sure, we can, if we see Busted Crown, we just root force this then. Like 1, 2, if uh, these two give us literally nothing, we go here. Otherwise, we just do 5 fights into this. And just brute force this with 4 energy into second elite. Snipers? No, 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 sniping this map is, <laughs> yeah, not a thing, yeah? Technically, there's a burning elite sniper, but like, come on, two elite act only, super low value. Now, to be fair, you do know whether you land the snipe or not by the time you get here, you know? but if you fail to snipe, your act is like, kind of toast. Oh, does it mean anything? Hello, Falcon. Hello, Cycrate. Hello, PM. Hello, Pillow Man. Hello, Bridge Burner. Oh, yeah, we just squat, man. Hammer or hammer. Hammer in this map is kind of weird, but maybe it's okay. Yeah, with hammer scrap, you do like a slightly higher value map, maybe, but. And the value of fights in that one also go down a tiny bit, yeah? Because you don't want to pick up too many things that you can up with later, like. I guess something like charge battery is fine, compound driver is fine, coordinates fine, hologram's fine. Yeah, it's still mostly okay. Um, starting here is definitely just strictly better than starting here because if you want to, you can still do two fight into shop, into two more fight into elite. Otherwise, your yeah, five fights available. Uh, this just gives you more options. <laughs> so no matter what we do, we start here. Yeah, nice. Very cool. Yeah, with that, I guess I take one here. Damn. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Terrible draws. Um, charge battery. Yeah, I guess we can take. Arash Miners, not too interested, no um, something of collision you can take as well. This energy doesn't play so well though with the hammer swap, but maybe still fine. 
Yeah, but it does not good, yeah? No potion, low roll, and minus 7 against Cautus. And the card is fairly mediocre. I mean, at least Charge Battery is doing something. Even if the energy does not play this turn at all. That's still fine. At least this guy attack. Uh... Oh, we uh, don't take damage here. Ah, so 0 against Zorgworm, but 7 against Cautis. Is the opposite of what should happen. Yeah? But that's okay. Why did we take? No potion 2 fights right now, 60%. Um, have not added any damage to the deck yet, and no potion drop. So, Floor 6 Elite is looking a tiny bit dangerous. But if we go here and it doesn't give us a knock potion or so, I don't think we can realistically do this. So then suddenly the act is... Um... I mean, we can, but yeah, the risk is not small. It's not that big either, though, because with a cool headed now, 4 base energy, like a bullion, probably we can deal with. Um, sentries is not too bad. It's just a knob. Going here and buying a knob potion is okay, but... Um... And we cut down one advanced away for low roll chance, yeah? but also one less card reward to actually see something good. But maybe it's fine. I don't think that's happening. It's like normal knob is... Probably can still be brute force, yeah? We can take a hit. Sometimes we can take two hits. But burning knob if it rolls at max HP, anything that makes it thank you, and we suddenly uh, delay kill by one turn, we can just die. Yeah, no shop after this, so how much gold do we get? Like 60? Maybe go here and rest because yeah, we take damage, advance all way, take damage elite. If we don't take damage here, then we can still go here. But assuming we go here and rest, so 60, 90, uh, 120. 210, 235. Yeah, it's like an okay early act 2 shop, but not that rich, but it's okay. That's assuming we spend all our gold here, which is not always true. Hello, Antip. Hello, Dota 2 Classic. Hello, Amazon. Hello, Rachel Gravy. Hello, um, <laughs> Super Ultra Mega Hyper. Yeah, <laughs> you're a nice name. Okay, after yeah, two fights, no potion, I'll probably go here. Hello, you got this? Thank you, good luck. I'll probably go here. And we just force this, yeah. Yeah, here's the bow lightning. Um, doesn't need the upgrade. So it's an okay, quite a decent damage card with the hammer swap. And we can buy a potion. Uh, draw a potion with charge battery, but probably we do explosive, like 10 damage reach. Lagavulin is the, probably still the easiest fight. And uh, yeah, 10 damage reach against Nob, mm, good against Lagavulin. This is probably more than 10 damage though. But this can also bail us out more effectively if we mega low roll this fight somehow. <laughs> oh, Knight of the Wind, and we good luck. So we did say uh, plus 235 or something into Act 2 shop, right? If it's very early. So if we buy this here, go to 18, 250. If we delay by 1, 5, 260. Uh, 65. Sometimes I can afford Uncommon Relic. Uh, you know, Toxic Egg or something. Oh, it's S tier. I mean, Claw is S tier. The uh, stats do not lie, no? Uh, you check... Um, like we read in the past year and a half, Claw is 100%, Auto Shield is 100%, Scrape is 100%. <laughs> All the best cards. Hello, Fury Red Burgers. Hello, Closer. Uh, that's not good. I mean, 5 energy probably will play next turn, though, at least. But that's not good. Ah, 5 energy does play. Okay, only minus 2, because it did draw... Um, 2 block and a cool headed, at least. So that's a... Uh, yeah, that's a good draw.
Ah, here's sweet pot for free. Bone chance now is 50. The loop. Uh, loop with hammer is a little bit sad, but it's still fine. Hello, a half a wet, and good luck. Hello, green smart, and we'll serve a 19 month special lot. Yeah, still fine. We have a frost orb now. If we see any upward event, then yeah, that's a decent target. One chance down 50, so if we low roll here and the potion saves a lot, we can I can use it. Ah oh, yeah, this five for example. Right now this potion saves ten, um, but not before it's up to a cast. Yeah, up to a cast maybe this potion suddenly saves zero. Breaker is a run sex script minus, yes. Otherwise, the script is like auto pick. <laughs> you know what's up. So, potion now only saves 3. Mm. Uh, yeah, for 3, I guess I don't use. Yeah, for 3, I don't use. Uh, I can save a lot next turn, though. Because this guy attacking plus 4 strength, yeah? This plus 4 strength, so we might be... Could be attacked for 20 next turn. And one attack doesn't kill this, so it's only 20 damage here. If we use a potion next turn, then suddenly we waste our 3 HP anyway. It's pretty messy if this guy attack at 75%. Because there's no way to kill this from it. Except potioning. <laughs> And I don't want to have to pay this 3 HP front load. Yeah, this just gets roll annoyingly high annoyingly high HP like 16. On the final moment, nah, I'm just potioning like <laughs> point change now 60. Sweeping Beam, sure. Algorithm is a very good hammer card, but in this pot, I do think I need to pick Sweeping Beam. Um, I just use my Explosive Pot. We can have 5 energy sometimes. And the Norm is still a threat, now we have, don't have a damage potion for reach. Rebound is okay to... doesn't need the upgrade, but yeah, first AoE. Um, and if we pick our 5th energy, then this card is probably slightly stronger than this. Yeah, literally, if Elite next floor, I just take this. One chance now 60. Okay, sentries for sweeping beam. Hammer Swap, Hammer Swap is pretty annoying, yes. Hammer Swap is pretty annoying. Uh, this shuffles out some cards. Maybe it's fine. Uh, we have force rest next floor if we want to. I mean, not force rest, it's optional rest. I don't think I go here and rest. Positioning now yeah, doesn't make a ton of sense. I mean, it makes some sense, but not that much. I think I do want to do cast frost, no? And yeah, we can already spend our 5 energy. Next time we know we have double defend and loop lightning. So afterwards, if we complete brick uh, and this guy somehow is not dead, we can drop on. But probably not. Often shall you like click with hammer swap? I mean, if I don't die, I click this anyway. In any run, yeah, it's the same. If, I, if Shining Light does not kill me, I click it. Oh, it, it forced me to get my dust one elite. Minus 1 Elite is no longer worth it, but if it doesn't change my pathing, I just click. The normal trait is uh, Shining Light versus the rest. So it doesn't, Hammer Swap doesn't make a difference with that. Yeah, double landing hitting middle is not great. Oh yeah, Sweeping Beam's performing again. Not too bad. I'm getting full 10 here, but that's fine. Hello, Kotropa. Thank you for the sub and 9 months. Special load. Hello, Jason. Hello, Frodo. 
Oh yeah, now we rest on the one and we're like fine. No potion use. Captain Skills is quite good. Because uh, maybe with the hammer your end game output is lacking, but here is the thing that blocks 18 against the heart for you. It also blocks 18 against P and shield, your damage is not too fast. Holy thunder strike. Uh potion chain is right now 50. On power driver, I guess I can take. Uh Una, the cards is okay with hammer. Does it need the upgrade? Of course it's um, kind of an anti-draw early on, but we do add two off cards now, so maybe on turn one they can also play. Oh yeah, 100% win rate. Go here and rest. Sleeping better on boy, uh, very confident, yeah, Jason. I would say you are completely wrong, <laughs> but very confident. I do not hate more lighting so much. Card is freaking good. Yeah, the card is freaking good. <laughs> like one card? No, not at all. It's more than that. I mean, it does fall off, yeah? But like, people treat this as if it's freaking cursing, and then your next four just play this every single time for damage. <laughs> like what? In Act 4, you draw this and then it deals like, uh, what, uh, 150 damage for you. But uh, somehow still like one cut. <laughs> you hate it? Yeah, don't hate it too much. That's uh, exactly the point. Like, people love it too much, you hate it too much. I like, don't overcorrect. This card is great. <laughs> it's it's like a lot of, uh, a lot of hipsters, you know. It's because uh, this is popular, like, a lot of people like it, therefore you must hate it. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Don't do that, that is just wrong. Okay, what do we do here? Ocean Chains now um, is 50, yeah? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, 50 percent. Uh, unfortunately, this is not Horn Cleave, so next turn we're still getting on. I guess I'm taking 6, and next turn there's still no kill here unless I do a cast lens, yeah? But no reason to potion. This potion is way too good. If anything, I am going to use this potion, but would prefer not to. Because it still does perform against, like, let's say the knob here, and then we can rest. Not the best card in season 4. Yeah, of course it is not. But I don't know, like, people talk to, uh, about this as if it's a freaking curse or something, you know? <laughs> of course you do not pick this over Glacier, like, Glacier is broken. But that's the thing, yeah? Do not overcorrect. This card is good, you click it anyway, so like, I don't even know why people trust talk this so much. Okay, more landing dual cards and re-evaluate, yeah. But probably never potioning this turn, if anything, it makes the next turn decision different. Ah. Yeah, tell me what your sweeping beam, uh, when your sweeping beam can do that. Yeah, where's the sweeping beam? <laughs> Tell me where they can do this. Okay, next turn. <laughs> Just talk, yeah, yeah, I do. I do. But uh, I'm not I'm never saying this uh, the ball landing is bad. I'm saying the ball landing is overrated. Like do not say it's the best card possible to see on floor one, and that is all I go. That is as far as I go. I do not say that, yeah, okay, this thing is a like, trash uh, late game. Okay, uh, maybe I do. I would say it's trash in Act 2, yes. That will, uh, that I will agree. Except Boostabbing. Boostabbing is fine. It's good. But every other fight, they just fight is trash. So you don't overclick more lightning. <laughs> but like, why do you trust talk it so much? <laughs> That's the thing, it's still an excellent cut. 
I would say the uh, main opinion change though for me in recent times would be um What are they just kind of sick and neck for? I guess I, if people were say says that something is great, I would probably uh, at some point have probably said that it's not that great. <laughs> because um yeah. Surprise, right? Everything is by a situation though. What is the card that is always good? And yeah, I don't even come in with adrenaline, yeah, because that's just not true. <laughs> So you can act for... I mean, I don't have any problem with CNC, so that's your problem. Because the uh, bigger problem in act for is always, uh, you know, every single time you want to act for on defect, you are wondering where the hell your damage is. <laughs> of course, uh, the biggest concern is the blocking first cycle, yeah? But after you block first cycle, like, every single time the concern is just, okay, where the hell is my damage? Because you realize that uh, I maybe I don't want to drag this fight out of four cycles, <laughs> but it just keeps happening. <laughs> because no matter what I do, I cannot kill it. <laughs> hey, what what is it really a cut that is like, always good? <laughs> because even Vault where I have skip, uh, I have a raw skip before because we have an incense burner in that run. Ah, whatever, you don't need to think about it. In fact, uh, what I should think about is how the hell do I not lose gold? Because right now I don't see any way to not, not to lose gold. <laughs> how do I not lose gold, guys? I did skip Ekoya yesterday. Okay, uh, two days ago at this point, but last stream. <laughs> so very good timing. I mean, I picked my Scott over Echo form in a pretty freaking obvious spot for that. And then in Act 4, the Biascock saves me, uh, I don't know, we know, like, uh, 50 HP. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I only had an Echo form, that's the point. I have enough output already, so I don't need the second one. As I skip now, I would skip uh, Echo form in, uh, yeah, if you, if you go around, right, in every stream when you talk about, uh, like one of the runs where maybe you skip echo form. Yeah, I would skip that. In fact, I would go even as far as saying that picking an echo form when you did was a really bad play. <laughs> but it's fine because once again, yeah, one brick in your deck doesn't really kill you or anything. Like plus one brick in the deck doesn't actually kill you. Right? That's a freaking myth. Oh yeah, I, I think skipping raw skipping after a match is probably the least likely thing to happen. No, no, if, if you're talking about not picking things over, then adrenaline has to be it. Adrenaline, you just click over skip. Always. That is what I would say. Actually, always. <laughs> In context of a normal run. Now, unless you are doing some uh, weird endless decks where your deck is a uh, 100 adrenaline or something, then I don't even know. <laughs> then I guess you skip. But otherwise, adrenaline, you just click over skip. But the problem is that the cards in Spire always come with other things, yeah? And not just the skip button. Like, oh yeah, you click anyway. Like, Adrenaline is completely fine with Neko. <laughs> like, definitely positive. It's not overwhelmingly positive like it normally is. But it is positive. But no, seriously, how do I not lose gold here? Like, impossible, no? Need to deal 45 damage but next turn, 27 damage. 27 damage in one turn with no dual cast or lightning, yeah, it's not a thing. So we lose gold. Unless I assume beam to bow lightning right now. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, okay. For 2 3 powers, further skip. Okay, okay, okay. Probably do it, uh, can do it after this fight. Uh, let's assume I redraw bow lightning immediately, yeah? Or zap, but... Yeah, bow lightning or zap, um, basically the same thing. Basically, I get one lightning off, so it deals 6 damage. So we need 39. 39, but now I only have 12, so 27. Ah, uh, no matter what, it's 27 damage. Next turn with no dual cast is not possible. 
up and then go ahead and then zap and then do a cast so we can do a cast next turn but for three energy cost already 16 19 okay this guy is gone we lost 40 gold <laughs> yeah it's, it's not possible to actually kill this <laughs> unfortunately Uh, second compound driver, sure. Double energy is okay too. I'm not ended like a lot of block there. Yeah. We are fighting Guardian and only one cool headed. Um, we do already have like draw pot or whatever. This against Nob, so we don't need to over pick attacks. And compound driver early turn draw is still not very good. Yeah, double energy is like fine-ish with this. Already have four base starting, uh, four starting energy, and we do use energy now with this, 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 and we do pick up skim, whatever. Maybe taking this is fine. And I've ended um, forever slightly set, but it's okay. Point chance now is forty. Oh yeah, I make the tier list first. Huh? I tier maker or our. There's no list for all powers, all the old cards, but it's fine. We can sort it. Chrome. Uh, F. Here, yeah, list for floor two, three hour. Let's just skip. Okay, so powers only. Why isn't there a list for powers only? But I guess we can just choose. Eh? If I miss something uh, in here, let me know. But oh, I guess you do. No, no, this is sorted by. Um... So you can ignore all common cards because there are no common powers. Combat for two, three. If I skip, uh, definitely positive for like one. Like very positive, the problem is that this thing is like kind of garbo, so you don't want it in your deck down the line. And yes, Combust Rupture <laughs> combo of the gods are extremely slow. <laughs> you play lower? No, what? Or are you, uh, maybe you're newer to the stream, yeah? If you think that Halo World would be uh, so freaking bad. <laughs> but yeah, the um, Combust. It's fine, it's like above average, very positive, it's, but I don't want to pick it. Dark Embrace, yeah, Ultra Grid here, so I need uh, something that tells me that I can carry this thing around. In Act 2, it's early Act 2. Mostly this thing is just damaging you in early Act 2 and then maybe you bleed out. If you can carry it, yeah, sure, go ahead. But uh, late game power, this thing, yeah, very powerful, so sure, justifiable. Evolve, yeah, same as Dark Brain, probably slightly, maybe slightly higher because Hexagos. One energy is easy to get out of your deck. And uh, Slime Boss Hexagos is does play in the boss. This plays better in centuries compared to this. Easier to get in play and the effect is uh, faster. So you can carry it around. And also your yeah, Mark of Pain and such, sure. Slightly better than the thing, yeah. Fear no pain, also slightly better than this. Doesn't Omega perform. But uh, in early game at least, but yeah. In centuries, it does play as one of three, you want to delete it. It's fine. And then late game is overpowered, so sure. You click this over skip if your start is anything reasonable instead of being garbage. A mass context and equal to evoke? No, it is for me. It absolutely is for me. I do not click this card unless I have a good reason to. And if I have any reason at all, I click this card. <laughs> That's a difference because uh, yeah, it's a great pick and it's an uh, in, it, at the moment pick like short term pick, long term pick. But I always make the long term pick if I can. 
and I would always not make the short term pick if I can. So in the context, it is roughly equal. If you come in here, if they have burning blood, I don't actually care that much because Icon you can still brute force with HP. That's the thing, and combat minus is not doing that much for you. You're in the elite either. Combat plus sure, but combat minus in the north fight, like how much is this? It's 10 damage. Unaffected by vulnerable. In lack of lean, sure, it's a lot of damage, but also don't forget you're losing HP. Yeah? This thing burns you like maybe 5 or 6 HP in lack of lean. Potentially cut down by one turn, but usually it only allows you to play maybe 2 extra defense, so it saves like. It costs you 5 HP or so, but it saves like 10 HP or so, maybe. The lack of lean is slightly positive, but not even that much. In the north fight, it's barely positive, if at all. And in the Sentry's fight, I guess it's fine. But once again, the bulk of your damage taken in the Sentry's fight is the first two turns. And this doesn't really help you that much. It just helps you not get like mega attacks afterwards because your damage is way too slow. In the boss fight, if it's not slime boss, it's also fairly trash, yeah? Because Hexagos combat is not exactly what you want to play. And uh, the Guardian, it's fine, but it doesn't help you split in two, which is the most dangerous portion of that. And afterwards, you would also do bleed out when you're in the phase where you just want to save cheap HP. Oh yeah, Evo is straight up just a greedy pick. I say this right now, this is literally just a greedy pick that plays kind of plays in the boss fights two or three times. Doesn't play in Guardian at all. I don't care. <laughs> I can't take Evolve, I take Evolve. It's the same as Field Open. If I can't take Field Open, I take Field Open. It looks a little bit weird, but mm, for me, it makes sense. Fibre thing, yeah, I mean. <laughs> I mean, you have Slime Boss and you're scared or you want to, you know, draft in such a way that you ignore every other card, damage card, and then they just kill Slime Boss for you, then sure. Uh, I guess just because it actually kills Slime Boss single-handedly, yeah? Uh, I can put it above F, but like... Not very good. Uh, in Flame, yeah, amazing. Please click. Vitalisa is very, very powerful. Neck 1 it doesn't fall off as hard or something like this. But still not an amazing cut later, so... It's good. Pick this, but... You're not that happy. <laughs> you're rupture, you're complete garbage. <laughs> Please don't. Barricade. Uh, barricade is spicy. Barricade is probably not gonna brace tier, yeah? Yeah, it's just, it's just correct. Like, it's just not gonna brace tier. Roughly the same card plays around the same time. <laughs> it just breaks you. This can play sometimes in Lag of Wolin, but at the same this can also sometimes play in Sentries. Okay, it's bad. You know, if you ignore this, you are getting baited. By the Spire. You do not always pick this, yeah? But if you can, please do. It's the same deal as... Exactly the same deal as Dark Empress. Berserk. Uh, well, I guess it's passing dependent. If there's an upgrade, uh, I don't actually mind the Berserk because Berserk plays fine in... Yeah, it's very good in Lagavulin. It actually plays fine against the knob. Not amazing against knob, but not actually that bad. And against the boss, like boss is that's fine. It is scaling later on, so it's not nearly as bad as people say. People will just look at this guy and say, oh, you Berserk, like self-bash. But it is scaling, you know, scaling damage is scaling damage. And I mean, Bloodletting also costs you a ton of HP, but like, nobody complains about Bloodletting. But uh, in Act 1, yes, if it does not, if you do not have an upgrade for this thing in early Act 1, it does cost you quite a bit of HP, and the payoff is not as high as this. So it's still pretty bad. <laughs> it's still pretty bad, it's not great. Uh, brutality is good. Yeah, please pick. Corruption. Well, same deal, right? Yeah, just same deal, like greedy pick that usually just pays off later. Okay, uh, basically always pays off later. It does take a while to get started. This thing gets off the ground a little bit faster than these, though. 
because uh, you can you can just take good cards and then display immediately like take several shocks uh, whatever take impervious flame barrier whatever take shock wave it just plays it doesn't play that early a lot of people pretend for zero noise for two three so it's pretty early on kind of the same i guess i can copy this uh, underneath so people can see But yeah, a lot of people like to pretend you pick this thing up and it plays in early act 2. Yeah? It doesn't. <laughs> it is still greedy pick no matter how you spin unless you have snack go. Even if you have pyramid, it's still freaking greedy. But when you have snack go, it plays immediately. For sure. Um, I don't think it's slightly stronger than these though. So... Between, it's probably less than Feel No Pain but more than Dark Embrace, so between some of, between B and C. Even from, yeah, boss solve, like, it's a brick in hallway, but it does kill the act boss for you. Uh, specifically, Hexagos are freaking menace. <laughs> One of three, you're fighting Hexagos. And you don't have this card in your deck, um, you skip this card on early floors, yeah? and then you go to Hexagos and you die. <laughs> you want to act 2, your damage still doesn't scale, and you die to Champ. You die to Automaton. And 15% um, of the time you see Sneko after Act 1, sometimes you see Reaper, so it's not so bad. I would say that nowadays I don't think I skip over Reaper unless I have very, very... Uh, not Reaper, Demon Form. In early Force, and they have very good reasons to do so. Generally, nowadays, I think this for me is... It. I always skip. I just take this. <laughs> yeah, I just take this. Once again, one brick in hallway fight doesn't cost you that much. I mean, it does cost you quite a bit, especially on Ironclad. But it doesn't... You know, like kill you or something. If it saves a lot of HP elsewhere. But here, skip uh, this. This is skip most of the time. I guess I can rename. I guess I can rename. Uh, okay, S can stay S. A is pick. B is uh, usually pick. Okay, offense pick. Uh, still see, but um, often pick, but CTH generally skip. Often pick, uh, CTH no. Often skip. Often skip. Uh, rarely. Ah, uh, pick sometimes. Sometimes pick. Skip unless uh, unless very good reason. <laughs> unless you have a very good reason. <laughs> and skip. No. Pick happy. Yeah, this is uh, fine. <laughs> big set, yes, big set. <laughs> Man, the size and dice tier list names are uh, actually so freaking good. <laughs> big set. Uh, Juggernaut. Yeah, probably same as tier. Doesn't have actually... That doesn't have real payoff like these things, but... Uh, it has some bonus point for being fun. <laughs> Yeah, this thing does have some bonus point for having uh, a very nice animation. No, but really, this actually deals damage in the boss fight for you, and this does nothing. This is breaking you in whole ways, it's also breaking you in boss fights, and it leads you to be a freaking terrible deck. This thing actually works if you pick good cuts, and it does deal extra damage in boss fight for you. For example, Hexagos, you're dying, you pick this card, you sometimes don't die. Wow. <laughs> 
so it's not that bad. Um, okay, that's all for Ironclad, so now Silent, Accuracy... Uh, this draw 2 or 3, so yeah, if you have Blade Dance draw 1, you take... A clone Dagger, sometimes you can make a excuse, but otherwise, yeah, no. If you don't have ships, yeah, don't do it. Do not do it if you don't, do not have ships. <laughs> Uh, drops, yeah, same story, but honestly, on floor 2 3, I just skip. I don't care like, if Hexagos is coming, yeah, it's, this is too early for it. And um, Silent has some ways to deal with uh, a lot of ways to deal with Hexagos. You also have problems against like, Nob and Lag uh, Nob and Sentries. Lagavulin, also some problem, and this can help you a little bit, but yeah, it's like 6 damage. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, footwork good. <laughs> Infinite Blades. Unfortunately, Silence sucks, so this is here. If Silence is a slightly better character, you would uh, definitely put this here, but Silence sucks. <laughs> so you have to click this like a decent amount of times if you are running into a path with a lot of elites. And yes, it does play well against slime boss and hexagos too, so it doesn't really fall off that much uh, in the boss. Later on, yeah, you have ninja relics can work. And again, one brick draw doesn't cost you that much in this game. And this is not even a complete brick, yeah. It's not a curse or anything. It actually is still fine. It's just uh, slightly annoying in whole ways because uh, it doesn't do anything on the turn you play it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, feels good. Wallet Plan is good. Act 1 Wallet Plan is very powerful, yeah? Act 2 is when... Early Act 2 is when it gets a little bit fishy. If you are going very aggressive, but... Act 1 is positive in honestly O3 elites. And O3 bosses. And very strong late game. So you do pick. Uh, where is it now? Yeah, O3. That's all uncommon powers. After a mess, you're happy. Well, Silent owns. Look at this. Oh, Silent is just amazing, no? Thousand cuts, yeah. Uh, your reason, uh, sometimes slam boss act. Usually slam boss act, sometimes hexagos act. Very rarely, but yeah, probably too early to pick for hexagos. Also, the bands and upgrade, bricks and hallways. Can kill like a bullion for you. So, yeah. It's probably better than these, um, better, better than most of these, but not by much. And Venom, yeah, same deal. Uh, to the trade great. Something about to the trade that a lot of people miss, yeah, is that uh, this thing actually is just positive in hallway fights. People talk of this as if uh, it's like a boss card or whatever that is, is a, a brick in hallways because again, it doesn't do anything on the turn you draw it, <laughs> but. Silent fight just go long, you know, unless you have some backstab up idea, silent fight, it, even in hallway fight, just go freaking long. And it does give you extra damage ideas, extra multiple ways to play a fight. And that is something very valuable. I did talk about this on... I don't think I talked about this on stream about Watcher. But you want to open multiple ways to play a fight. If you have multiple ways to approach your fight, yeah? like whether you are forced to kill fast or you can play slow, um, you have a lot. Basically, then you don't really have brick hands. Because if you, uh, yeah, if you can play pivot the fight to playing slow, suddenly drawing defense is not so bad, no. Otherwise, when you are committed to only killing fast, uh, you must have draw damage, otherwise you die. So that's not so good. Which is why foresight is so broken. Unless you choose how you want to play, yeah. Like, playing a card, you suddenly have a, a complete freedom. Like, okay, do you, I do I block move stabbing or not? Because if I do, then I guess I take my DC reality. For example, I take my way of the hand. But if I want to kill fast, okay, I guess I take my indignation. Same story. The tools give you that. I mean, not as good as foresight, but uh, still great. And it opens like sticky strike, hovering kai, whatever. It's, it's strong. 
Honestly, the um, easiest example yeah, as, uh, that you can see that the tool is just good in hallway fights is that you can cast this out if you want to. Uh, because if you say this thing is bad in fast fight, yeah, it should not be positive in floor 1 counters. But feel free to add this card to your base deck and uh, fight counties like 100 times. And you see what this card is doing in that fight for you. Yeah, you are paying 1 energy to do nothing in the fight that is strictly a damage race. <laughs> and you, then you can see it's just positive. But okay, um, red form. Yeah, red form slightly greedy. Only slightly, because it still performs well in hallway fights. But um, picking this early act one is the earliest time where it can sometimes kill you. If you pick it over something better. Also, I'm not happy about picking this, so uh, here's side fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm not actually happy when I pick this, so uh, here's fine. But yeah, it also is slightly dangerous for to be picked early act 1. If you're dying to the elite, uh, and the elite is not norm, and even if the elite is norm, yeah? Sometimes this doesn't actually help you at all. Because you must play your damage, important damage card over this when you draw into it, if it's not green. Otherwise, maybe it is on upgrade. Uh, you're dying to sentry, this doesn't save you. You're dying to Lagavulin, this buys you one entire attack cycle, but it still doesn't save you. Because you are silent. And then after one debuff cycle, your damage is a scarbo. Uh, but yeah, that's over silent for defect. Capacitor, well, I mean, I did say that I want to pick Greek Capacitor a lot more nowadays, but uh, this is too early. Yeah? Still, the payoff is so freaking big that it should be here. Defect, is, uh, Defect has a slightly harder time to carrying a curse like this in hallway fights, uh, unlike Ironclad. But I guess if you have cell repair floor 1 and your path is somewhat safe, then you can take here, but I don't think so. Like, Yeah, the pick rate this on early floors will still be quite low. Usually when you greet this card, it's later half of Act 1 or maybe in the early Act 2 sometimes. But it's too early, you don't even know whether you have ops or not. If you have like a bunch of cold snap weathers already, then sure you can even pick this act one because uh, it does fine. But this is way too early. Sometimes you never see frost and you just bring this in act two, you bleed out and you die. <laughs> yeah, this is too early. Ah, defrag. Unlucky, but you know, what can you do? <laughs> Stupid card. It sings kind of the same deal as the Dark Embrace, and um, it does have faster payoff than the Capacitor. Yeah, it's... The, the payoff of this thing is like, very, very high, yeah? so I do think maybe it's slightly higher than these, but not by that much. It's between these. But again, you need good reasons to... Pretty good reason to pick this. So maybe, maybe here is fine. It's at like top of the this list, but not. I don't think it should be here. At least not that early. Yeah, hello, good. Pick. Uh, actually, no, he's here. Because once again, this card is positive late game. But uh, that, that's a that's a thing. This is, has also the same ball lightning effect. Yeah, people hate this way too much, and now they like this way too much. I talked about this the other day. This thing is still, you know, not actually great in Act 1. People, people like, just pretend, okay, in Act 1 your deck sucks, uh, so any random common card is good, yeah. Now here's a problem. In Act 1 is also when your base cards uh, actually freaking matter, and you need to play them, otherwise you lose 5 HP. <laughs> Fights do not last that long. And your base card still better, like 6 damage matters, 5, uh, five block better, like all the thresholds uh, are being bad. And you carry this around, like one whole way, you just bleed uh, everywhere. Yeah? Of course it does fine against the elite. And it does okay against the, with the boss. But it's not actually saving you that uh, much HP if at all in sack one. Unless you are really bad against the elite currently. And it's not the norm, yeah? you have to be bad against Lagavulin and Sentry specifically. 
or hexagos. And then in Act 2, you don't actually want to draw this until, you know, the elite fight, the boss fight. <laughs> so uh, don't overcorrect. I say hello and win, yeah, unfortunately you don't always win. That's a problem, this thing doesn't even solve the boss for you or like this thing. This is solving the boss for you, this doesn't. <laughs> like, don't overcorrect, this card is fine, but it's not actually that good. In Act 1. It may run sucks, yeah? In Act 3, this is a freaking godsend. But uh, the early game, it doesn't uh, perform as much as people like to say nowadays. Because uh, apparently, yeah. Apparently, you must go like one one full direction or the other, yeah? Like one cam says that, okay, this card is complete garbage, always skip. So the other cam must say, oh, oh this card is like the, the absolute uh, nuts in Act 1. So therefore, you just click because you are this and that. It's just fine. <laughs> Don't overcorrect. It's fine. Loop, yeah, loop is a little bit greedy. Uh, but the payoff is somewhat fast, and uh, worst come to worst, it still deals some damage for you. And if you don't see Frost or have a way to put Frost in front or have an upgrade early for this, then it's not. It doesn't give you output until quite a while. But if I can read this card, I would like to. Uh, so repair, yeah, stupid card. So the discharge, yeah. Give yeah, less very good reasons. The good reason is like you have only have sustain, maybe self repair floor one. Maybe starting with some relic, I don't know. Uh hex goes act, but yeah, usually you need sustain for this to really perform. Slightly better than cow chops though, but not made that much. Uh Storm, yeah, don't. If you want to fool around and maybe have a a power build or whatever that is, then sure. <laughs> Go ahead, but otherwise no. I score stupid. But for stupid. Uh creator AI. Demon form except worse. Tori, Tori is okay, yes. Tori is one of the cases where you can take this and be not too unhappy. Ah, uh, well, yeah, creative AI and floor 2, not really. Defect, uh, <laughs> but uh, another reason why Defect doesn't like hallway bricks compared to Ironclad is that um, you don't have build in sustain. And the character kind of just needs to farm always in a way. Because a lot of times you just cannot go and fight two elites, uh, that many elites. And if that's the case, yeah, where do you get your value then? Act 3 or so, you just farm always and then this thing just breaks you. But of course, uh, if you have cell repair or something, then Scott becomes better. If you suddenly are scared of the boss immediately on floor 1 somehow, or floor 2 somehow, then you can click this. And another thing is that, uh, yeah, Defect doesn't have um, a lot of scaling problems like Iron Cut in, let's say, Act 2 boss fights. You usually have something to deal with Act 2 boss. You don't need this as much. If you want this, you can pick it later. <laughs> but this is a little bit too early and you don't have um, like the Reaper in your card pool. Cherry Pay is a good reason to pick this, yeah, but not... Um, it's only healing you like 7 extra, the Reaper is healing you, I don't even know how much. Once again, it's like too early. Echo Form... a little bit greedy, it's kind of like Red Form. <laughs> this thing does not play in Act 1. I will tell you, uh, it's a freaking myth, yeah, that this thing plays in Act 1, it just doesn't. <laughs> like, it plays against Zag of Lean sometimes. And it plays against the Act Boss, and that is where it stops. It doesn't play anywhere else. <laughs> I mean, sure, okay, for you, sometimes it plays against North, sometimes it plays against Sentries, but it's barely positive. It is actually just barely positive because you cost, uh, you spend an entire turn to play this beforehand. So, after you play a form, you are happy that, oh, yeah, okay, my defense full blocking, but you have to remember, you already gave up one full turn for that, yeah? and in the whole way, fight is breaking you. 
It is greedy, however, I click this. Because <laughs> I'm playing D5. <laughs> Electro good. Uh, Mosey Lending actually very solid now. Honestly, nowadays they could put this here. I think my opinion of this guy has gone up, 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 and up. Scaling is scaling, and this is cheap scaling, uh, and it scales with draw. If you see it early, you can draft your deck in such a way that makes this thing, like, better. Yeah, my opinion this guy is just, like, going up and up and up. <laughs> Definitely not bad. Because the uh, machine learning also has synergy with a good deck. If you build a good deck, machine learning is better. <laughs> Yeah, building a deck that already has a ton of scaling, like, you know, like 3 defects or something, uh, and then you just want to draw your defects or whatever, then yeah, machine learning maybe is quite bad. <laughs> but you can build a deck in such a, in a different way, you see machine learning early, that it just, you know, it's more consistent, it's faster, and your output is still roughly the same. <laughs> um... Okay, that's all for defect for Watcher. Battle him. Eh. Yes, even unless you have very good reasons. Even though this guy's a complete powerhouse in Act One, this guy single-handedly solves Act One for you, yo. Don't you? You pick this card, your Act One is solved. <laughs> but you are playing Watcher, so you don't need that. And if possible, you would like to skip. Uh, fast thing, yeah, same story. Good reason is if you swap into energy, garbage energy, especially like Choker, Fusion Hammer, Busted Crown. Sure, fast thing, fine. Otherwise, skip. <laughs> Foresight, yes. Oh, broken cut. Very happy. Like what? Uh, once again, like what? Uh, with boss swap leads to all kind of silly things and yes this does happen like easily often <laughs> you want to for energy uh, first floor is like water but the skip and yeah elite is coming you are not worried about not whatsoever so you click like water it's fine <laughs> you have a garbage energy and watcher as far as i am concerned yes because i do not care about the case where you start the fusion hammer and then i see lesson learned any run with a slight amount of luck uh, for Watcher is completely irrelevant <laughs> because these runs I like, win. I only care about the runs I can lose. And in that context, the Fusion Hammer is pretty dangerous squad because it opens uh, it opens a lot condition on Watcher. Extremely unlikely, of course, because you <laughs> you swap, you win basically almost every single run still. But you do need to think about, at some point, you do need to think about, like, you know, like maybe this 1% chance of killing me, maybe 2% here, 3% there, whatever. Just some random numbers, yeah, these are not uh, actual math. <laughs> ah, Mental Fortress, yeah. I mean, it is slightly greedy, but uh, you know, I just clicked this card. I'm not that happy though, but I do just take. It is slightly greedy in that one, so it will cost you HP here and there. At the same time, the glitch game power is so insanely important that I don't care. No, that's nasty. Uh, I tell you, Choco Squad is free most of the time, but I think the only Choco Squad you have seen in this channel is the one that I lost. <laughs> so maybe that is your impression. But I'm telling you, if I play uh, 50 Choco Squabs in a row on Watcher, I will probably win... I don't know, like 48 of them or something. Maybe 47. <laughs> because the, uh, yes, the Choco loss uh, on stream was the, is the only Choco loss I have had in my entire time playing Watcher in 3 years. And even that is still because of maybe a mistake. Uh, 
Nirvana, yeah, I, I don't care, like, no. <laughs> Maybe you saw into some weird P-Box or Astro Lab or whatever, but that applies to anything here. Basically, if your deck is transformed, then yes, all of these can have situations where they are good. But assuming no P-Box, no Astro Lab, yeah, don't. Rush down. Sure. It does have consistent payoff, but once again, it's a greedy pick. And then like crazy, how are you? Be good. I actually learned the character instead of just being a monkey playing infinite. <laughs> and then you learn all ways of, uh, all sorts of way of scaling. But the Watcher card pool all, all gives you many, many, many ways. Study. Uh, it's just fine. It's like Foresight except way worse. Ross now except bad. <laughs> but sure, if you um, yeah, you swap to energy, this thing is like fine. If you have a, a good, very strong whole way can on floor one, and you maybe foresee a boss problem, sure, can take. Uh, what else? Yeah, rare powers now. <laughs> Give up for... <laughs> ah, devotion. Establishment, yeah, way too early. Uh, you literally have a floor one meditate and maybe, but even then, don't think so. Because establishment meditate is the... Is a scaling combo you want to have. Late act two, not early act one. Because uh, that's those alone is not enough. You need to also have a lot of card draw. Basically, you need to wait for your energy to pay off. Infinite energy but no payoff, you're yeah, garbage. And then this also breaks you in whole way fights. And one brick for Watcher actually matters. I've been saying like one brick uh, in whole way fight doesn't matter that much, but for Watcher it matters a ton. <laughs> so please do not pick a brick if you can. Because the difference between killing in wrath. And not killing is potentially, I don't know, 20 HP difference in one fight. Because instead of going into Wrath and killing and in the fight, you cannot enter Wrath because it doesn't kill. And now you delay your Wrath by 3 or 4 turns and in the meantime you're just taking a hit everywhere. At least early act 1 you don't do it. I do like establishment a lot with uh, Meditate. One of the stronger ways to scale, like actually completely broken late game. And you need the uh, information before this is in your deck. Quite a bit of information, not just the meditate. Is this a power? <laughs> but you cannot pick this, I don't really uh, include you. Yeah. Uh, so that's all for Watcher, the colorless. I mean, you cannot see these, but uh, we can pretend that you can see them somehow. Hello, MG, then we go up. Magnetism, uh, uh, cringe. Objectively speaking, it's probably here, but like. I hate this, so I will put it one tier lower. <laughs> Mayhem, yeah, probably not. Panas is character dependent, but honestly, not bad. Iron Clad is probably skip, but for uh, Watcher defect, yeah, sure. For I uh, know for Silent defect, sure. For Watcher, I don't know. Watcher, if you have the miracle, then maybe it's here. It's fine. Otherwise, it might be here. You cannot see these cards. I'm just pretending. <laughs> Statistic nature, yeah, probably not. Unless on Silent, Silent is big. Silence here. Every other character is here. A silence here. That's all, right? Yeah, that's all. Ah, okay. Uh, honorable mention. Uh, this is a power. Like people would like to say it's not, but it is a power. A <laughs> reward for free. This is just for free because every other card you see for free. Terror power, you know, terror sometimes gets owned by artifact. So, not really. This thing just plays. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's all. So let's go back to the run. Uh, 
Okay, so what is happening in the run? Um, double energy. I was talking about double energy figure. Um, probably okay just because he does play with this for a little bit. And maybe some X-Cross. I mean, first of all, the... Um, whatever can happen. Snackle can happen. Snackle for energy absolutely can happen. And then double energy does perform there. Yeah, it's fine. People I don't think I take. One chance now, one, two, three, four, five, six, forty percent. Toxic egg. We're not quite toxic egg, but still good. <laughs> Do we want this elite or this elite? Going here says that I'm committed to this elite, so no rest. Um going here means that we rest twice. So I'm exchanging one fire for one question mark. Um yeah. Question mark five, question mark five, elite, elite. Actually no, I'm exchanging Yeah, I'm just exchanging one five for one question mark. Resting is twenty one. <laughs> if there's light loss event here, we know this is not sentries, yeah? So it's either not or Lagavulin, in which case we have Captain's Wheel. So if there's light loss event here like shining light or so I can click. Scrap ooze you can click. But if I click these, I do want to dress. Healing event is a little bit annoying, but I guess it's still fine. And yeah, if we overheal, then we can recall Act 1 as well. Maybe we see Red Side Relic afterwards. I think I go left. It's just exchange on question mark, it's not even on 5. Like, the value is not so high. Also, maybe this fight owns you, yeah? You never know. <laughs> Maybe this fight just completely owned you. I don't even know why I play that, but sure. Drop this and split next turn. Drawing Zap here would have been good. Unfortunately, if I play Strike now, it goes to 34, and 34 is splitting. So we have to wait one turn. But that's fine. Let's just go full block this. Now the energy does play. We have blue frost, speed of 19, but yeah, not a problem. One chance 50. Guys, I, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I know what I just said, but uh <laughs> it's good here. <laughs> yeah, I, I know what I just said, but it's actually good here. <laughs> because you have the energy to get it in play. It makes the double energy stronger. And um, yeah, already have force rest. So breaking in a little bit in the whole way fight somewhere doesn't matter as much. Also, yes, this is uh, after floor 2 and 2 already, so it doesn't count. Uh, actually healing, but we can take max HP here, yeah? I don't think we should pick his regret still, but we can take max HP. For long term value. No. Double lightning draw on turn 1 is good, don't cut to skill block turn 3. Um, sure. Is this dead or not? Double energy, compound driver. So six energy here, yeah? And then we do one compound driver. Um, two, three energy, hologram four energy, bordering five energy, dual cast six energy. And we can always draw to dual cast because I can play sweeping beam with strike. So how much damage is that? We evoke three times, 24. 24 still have one passive, so that's... Um, 27 is a 30 and we play 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, it's dead. And double energy pays off. Look at this. Yeah, it's just dead. 
Oh, uh, actually it's not. Wait. <laughs> Wait a second, I'm counting one energy over. One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, dual cast, right, right, dual cast. I only play four attacks. <laughs> I only play four attacks. I counted five attacks because it was just counting hologram as minus one. But yes, dual cast also costs one, so that's minus two. It's fine, Captain's Wheel is here. We have Force Rest coming. This is why you have to file, yeah? Yeah, Force Rest is coming, guys. Don't worry about it. Uh, I don't think I want to play dual cast, though. This 3 damage is 6, but I don't redraw the loop. I play this, is 9 damage, is 14. Ah, this is fine. Yeah, that's fine. Captain's Wheel also block a lot. Bottle Flame, oh yes. Oh, I love Bottle Flame, guys. It's amazing. Tempest? Um... But now that I have Halo Wood, it's not super needed for double energy payoff and no Electro. Ah, the Thunder Strike that we did not pick, guys. Hey, yeah, uh, Bottle Flame. No, not take Bottle. No, not that take with the Bottle. In fact, Red, we can ask for a card that is bottled. <laughs> you bottle Swimming Beam here, for example, Red, we can still just take that away from you. Bottle Swimming Beam minus is pretty annoying, but it does give us guarantee uh, small AoE for a leader. For Retomancer, it's not super relevant, but for the late game, you have excess energy, then it does self cycle, so it's not that bad. Beamsay or Miners, I don't think we care about. Maybe we do, but at the same time, we have like Halo Wood against the Bull Stabbing. Captain Zero against Bull Stabbing. Yeah, probably not. I don't think I take any of these, yeah? But I can bottle the Sweeping Beam still. Yeah, that's fine. Monka. Hello, what sucks? Uh, defect owns, yeah? Yeah, defect must be good. Defect sucks. <laughs> Ow. Rebound, if anything, don't really want to add too many unupgraded cards to my deck, though. I draw right now, compound rival one time, quit it one time, draw pot one time. Damage output is definitely low, as you can see here. We have added a bow lightning, a sweeping beam, compound rival deck has no upgrades. Relics do not give us damage at all. So, splitting guardian on turn 2 is difficult, which probably says I rest. Because I think I want to keep this power potion for a bit, yeah? Do I take the rebound or not? It's fine. Generally, it's like fine. Yeah, generally, it's like fine. Overdraw over memories here. Memory is stronger in Act 2. Draw is stronger way down the line. But Power Potion could be something that kill Act 2 boss for us if we are dying with the Fusion Hammer. Ah, uh, yeah, Creative AI, Echo Form, sometimes Bias Cock. Machine Learning. Second Halo World, even. And with Force Rest, I. Yeah, Bottle Sweeping Beam as well, so the liquid memories immediately become slightly better. Okay, nah, nah, Guardian, we never use pot. Like, we rest to... This plus 22, so we rest to 67 here, we never use pot. I'm just thinking about Act 2 and maybe way later. But yeah, I probably can toss this away. Does battery over loop or we just accept the damage next turn? 
Yeah, this doesn't always play as well because we sometimes draw this already. And we need to draw a lot of block to make this energy play. I just play this, yeah. Holy stack. It doesn't block that much, but holy. <laughs> Seven. Ow. Infinite. I don't actually got to split now though, because then I'm taking damage. So I will just accept vulnerable and then loop frost the turn after. You think it's rebound stream live? It's actually rebound stack, guys. Only tools, I can't play bolt landing even after this. Full block. That is definitely pick with hammer, yeah. Even though the electro is quite good too. But with hammer squad, we absolutely, absolutely, absolutely take echo form. One of the easier ways to basically, yeah. Problem with hammer is that you lack output late game. And here's a card that says, yeah, you play this card, your output is solved. <laughs> okay, let's solve the that uh, when you have. Uh, no upgrade, so like your defect is minus, whatever, you see that your consume is minus, your capacitor is minus, but still it, it deals with half your problems for you. And uh, we also know the Sneko is coming right after this. Energy pot now that I have Echo Form is slightly stronger compared to Power Pot because we have this to deploy in the Act 2 boss fight now. So maybe I want to take a Ocean that's slightly better in whole wave fights because it can also put the echo form in play, makes uh, some plays a double energy, make some play with sweeping beam. So now this can actually go away, yeah? now that I see the echo form. Uh, unless you tell me that we are, uh, if we are forced into like two elites, we die because no electro, no bias cock potential, damage is way too slow. Could be. But uh, at least look at memories on sweeping beam can help a tiny bit. <laughs> Ah, that is not Sneko, but that is also something pretty decent. Okay, I guess we have enough output now. But we need Frost Orb. <laughs> we actually have enough output now, yeah? we even with Hammer, and all of these are not green. And uh, this Frost Field is uh, about to go in. Look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 power with the Frost Field. <laughs> Yes, I would like, uh, you asked me, I would, I, I think I would like Apotheosis in this deck. Yeah, I think Apotheosis would look decent. So, what does this box say? Yeah, this box say I actually don't want to run into Elites and die, right, in Act 2. 
So let's dodge. <laughs> Let us dodge elites. At least not not walking into here. Like to force elite, uh, you're probably stupid. Something like this, though, we can do shop here and then fight one elite is still fine. Uh, if we somehow feel extremely strong, we can still do this to elite path and force fire over here, yeah? Into late shop here is okay too. But I do not want to path this way and force myself into two elites back to back. That is uh, unacceptable. Yeah, no self repair as well, yeah? Yo, no, no kill, no kill. <laughs> run away, run away. <laughs> no kill. Because uh, you, you can see our deck fat load block in hallway fight is not actually that good. <laughs> one force of only. Yeah, one force of only. Okay, I get two force of that with rainbow, but a ridiculous amount of powers and not no fat load block. So yeah, you can see immediately here like how much damage we are taking in this fight. Yeah? I can energy pot for seven. Can we be first and see? Okay, defrag. Yeah, defrag and then energy port, uh, charge battery reinforce field, yeah? So, this is actually energy port block 12. I'm fine with that. Oh! Oh, we have this too. Look at this. Wham! Uh, so I can fission all of these off the way. Or I can just uh, block a little bit. But I can hollow force field with the cool head that the next one captain's wheel. So fission is probably good. Yeah, fission is probably just good to do. And yeah, fossil of the gods. <laughs> I want to double quit the next turn, right? So playing bull landing now is like fine. Also not needed though. Because maybe I want to loot frost immediately the turn afterwards. Yeah, it's just not. Now you can see uh, if the powers are not being echoed from the output is not actually super high yeah? or passively but then we do have echo form in place so we can do something about that Chance 50, yeah, Chio is amazing. <laughs> exactly what do we need in this kind of spot. Of course we take. Oh, chance 50, if you go here, then we do have the shop. Um, going here forces us to advance forward immediately. If we see five question mark, then we would like to max question mark. Maybe we work max question mark anyway. I will see. Ah. Uh, is this fight dangerous? Nah, uh, this deck is small. Deck after exhaust is actually very small. But we do take a while to exhaust. Unless we line up the, like the last time, yeah? Like double energy fusion turn into all powers and we just exhaust super fast. Uh, this fight is kind of dangerous actually. Not that bad, but it's not super easy either. I'm willing to spare liquid memories here and just not fight any elite in this act if uh, I'm forced to. And what do we do then? Uh, rebound sipping beam. Yeah, rebound sipping beam is probably fine. Okay. And 
blocks. Oh yeah, here's a chill. Oh. I was 13 so I'm taking 9 damage only and maybe not even so as I could draw into uh, I guess vision now I don't play except captain's wheel though I mean I can also play ball line in the block 3 more um, losing force of afterwards but it's probably fine Dual cast? No, no, I'm not dual casting. I'm killing this now. This is better than this, right? Yeah, I think so. Ah, Bola was sweeping beam debate right here. Settle. Boom. <laughs> yeah, Captain Sweel uh, doing good work here. Now it's fine. Okay, if it hits the pointy, I don't need to play it happen to full block. And looping frost is fine next turn, yeah. And this dog was cooking. Would be dumb to do it like that, but I think it should die this turn regardless. Okay, phone chance now back to 40. Holy. <laughs> it's green. <laughs> it is green. Also, um, yeah, very, very nice double energy pick. Once again, the next one, it just pays off uh, extremely well. This guy is always like, just surprising a little bit. Of course, this time we swap into Fusion Hammer, so it gives you... It's more obvious that it gives you energy, but... It just say like, sneakily plays, you know? You don't expect it to play, but then it plays, even early game. And now it's like, just very good. Uh, with the red mask now, do we go hallways or not? Because I can still keep going here. Two potions already, so dodging these advanced hallways. Maybe gaining extra value of question marks. Bites, no apparitions, no... Yeah, no bites, no apparition. Um, Forgotten outer still sucks though. So, value of question marks is not super high. Yeah? Library... Ritual dagger... An economic con, but an economic con is not even good. Yeah, a lot of question marks are that. Yeah, actually, a lot of question marks are that in this spot. Varic Vagrants is okay, but not great. Transform 2 is okay, but not great. How do I normally rate up energy upgrade? It's plus 2. Plus 2 energy. So if you need your energy, it's uh, probably the best one. Maybe it's still slightly worse than aggregate upgrade, but it's very, very powerful. I know as value resting goes down, we also have sweeping beam. I guess with red mask sweeping beam, you can take apparition, but at the same time, it's like not. It gives, it buys you time to play your powers. That is fairly small, and we do have energy, so maybe apparition is like fine. I just hate it. And in this part, apparition is probably good, but I hate it. <laughs> Normally, apparition and effect is scary because you're. Um, it, it's funny, right? Because usually you think that because you're playing setup heavy operations are good because it buys you time for setup. Yeah, only if you're thinking about high rows. <laughs> if you think about low rows, especially when you have don't have sustained in hallway fights, yeah. 
you attack apparition, you don't draw them early turn, you just take 5 damage here, 5 damage there, and then you die. In Act 4, you must draw apparition turn 2 or you die to the heart, and that is not a very pleasant thing to deal with. Because otherwise you get blocked with your max HP. Uh, in our case though, in our case it's slightly better, because um, after this speed box, the deck is still small, we don't need to add that many things except card draw. Only have the good memories for something mail out. Chip in hallway fight is protected with the red mask a little bit. But in this part is probably positive. I still hate it though. Let's just go farm some fights, okay? So what is this deck bad against in the advanced hallway? Um chosen plus one. Okay, we are not very good against Chosen Plus One, can see that. Um, Snake Plan Avocado Red, we do have Red Mask, cover turn 1. I mean, cover is a big word, but it does block a lot. <laughs> it's like an anchor. Hello, Strongest. Card rewards for this deck, um, what would be good? Yeah, what is good for this deck? Like more frost off, yeah. Yeah, more frost is good and frost are common. Beyond that, mm, I guess turbo is still fine. <laughs> turbo is also a common. Yeah, fights are good. Huh? And your yeah, bites empty, auto empty, the economicon empty. Uh, what else? Cleric is actually fine here, but it does put us below the gold threshold for this shop. For the red relics. Let's just do fights. How bad can this be anyway? Okay, quite bad. <laughs> but at the same time, we have forced rest here, yeah? I don't mind resting. I don't think I play that over force field alone, right? Yeah, I, I do think I just play that. Taking a little bit of damage is fine, I don't potion for this. One chance is 40%. Minus 13. Killing this Dark Orb says that I don't have the thing, but uh, maybe I don't have enough damage, but it's probably fine too. Yeah, because then I uh, just play this hand. Yeah, would Apple be good here? Now that is the the question for the ages. Would Apple would Apple Theosis be good here? <laughs> uh, you cannot tell, eh? Impossible to say. Probably do this actually. Potion, one chance 50. Scrap plus. It's green, however, we have nothing. <laughs> There's a force field. Geo is one time, Fission is one time, double energy is not green, Sap not green, dual cast not green. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Go for the eye is not needed. Uh, it's okay though. I think if it comes green later, I can take, but turn 1 already doesn't play, turn 3 doesn't play, at least for now. It does work okay with the ornamental uh, fan, and it does work okay with the uh, echo form. It does work okay with the skin plus. But the fact that we already have red masks makes this drops uh, quite a lot. Yeah, red mask and captain's wheel, yeah? so it only plays like. I guess if we draw to turn one, it does play turn two, where we have no real protection. But yeah, probably not. 
Uh, point change now is 50. So if I'm taking a lot of damage, I'm willing to use a pot here. Why are you doing that? Don't do that. That one is just sucks. <laughs> Vision sucks. So currently taking 9. One chance 50. Um, after this show, I don't want to have to buy potions and then we do this on Elite probably. Afterwards, if we are still losing our HP, you can go here and rest again. Losing 9. 26. 26 rest for 22. So 48 HP into elite with two potions big shop should be fine and rest again for 22 here red mask for the entire portion yeah should be okay power sucks if i don't want to take nine here i can liquid memories i guess but that's probably honestly keeping these potions more important if you're dying to slavers Bull stabbing, I don't think we can have a realistically have a problem, yeah? Leader, sometimes we do. But at the same time, leader, then liquid memories on the sweeping beam is also more important. Worst guy spot? Good. Ah, probably not. I just skip my pots. She is not healing next turn, no? We only deal 19 damage, yeah? So she will buff next turn. But turn 3 of Captain's Wheel, so it's not too bad if this guy attack again big. Otherwise, if Captain's Wheel misses, then uh, this guy only attack again for 14 next turn. That being so, yeah, we play our cards and it dies. <laughs> you see how many powers, uh, scaling powers we have in this deck? Like, most stopping doesn't scale that fast, you know? <laughs> we just play this and then it dies. Probably. Maybe it doesn't die, but uh, it probably does. Ow. Okay. Stop in front. Frost in front. Frost in front is like fine. If I draw exactly into Echo Form... Those like Chill... I guess I can even do Chill Zap or uh, Fission, huh? Maybe that's better. Yeah, maybe just better. Yeah, I just got tagged into our thing. And we have the plus by energy to play the echo form here. Floor. If I don't buy more lightning here, she can attack again next turn. This guy can also attack again. Um... I guess I can, I can bowl him. We do have Plasma. And this guy also doesn't always attack. Let's do this actually. Potion draw, but not a very good one. So, four fights, two potion, 40%. Beam cell plus. On the other hand, there's the algorithm with echo form. Oh, this beam cell plus is so strong, man. I mean, it's not that strong. <laughs> it is very strong, though, but. Uh... Ah, it's one of the easier ways for us to, to just kill slavers, yeah? To be fair, we have a big shot coming, and here's the algorithm echo form that can 
Yeah, you want operation so badly. Here's an operation that does not cost you half your max HP. Yeah, yeah, Mimsel Plus is a, a lot of the. It solves a lot of short term problems. I think it solves a lot of short term problems. At the same time, we are going for really relatively safe path, though. So I think we can pick the stronger cut. Totaling for Argon isn't scary? No, not at all. It's like only scared of uh, early turns, yeah? Like after we play some powers, we still fine. <laughs> no chance now, 30? Ah, uh, 40? Win the wheel, yeah? 200 gold before shop, pretty good. First before shop, pretty bad. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I guess we are stuck with the decay, guys. <laughs> I guess we are stuck with the decay. <laughs> because this, uh, we just buy this. Unless you tell me it's too much, can't remove, but this is way too much energy, yeah, this deck. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 powers and we can add more. Yeah, this just helps us set up like, so much faster, we have a skill plus now. Ah, freaking decay, man. Why is uh, why is the wheel like this? <laughs> why is the wheel like this? Four gold shot, by the way, to remove. And that's even after taking this fight to, to get more gold, yeah? It's still shot. Right, okay, move on. Uh, do I fight elite now? Because I can play ultra safe and go here and remove the curse here, but I think we just fight this. Yeah, still have force rest here, out with some farm, then play the collector fight with the DK, yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah, slave was a worst fight, and thanks DK. Um, how do we do this? <laughs> Rebound sipping beam into the steel chaos. And see. Sure. I can see playing Rainbow immediately as well. But if it draws... Yeah, because playing Rainbow immediately makes the Fission random stronger. Makes the Chill random also fine. Um, hitting powers, we can still discount the Compound Driver. But then Zero Energy... Afterwards, we cannot really play other powers. Sometimes I draw into fusion, or for this compound, I will draw 3 too, though. <laughs> yeah, rainbow first and then doing this is like, probably okay, yeah? Yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, that is why... Uh, <clears throat> so, um... Come back a couple of floors ago. How good is this still chaos? Guys, how good is it exactly? And maybe we should just use it in the center in Mystic to save 9 HP, you know? Yeah, how good is it? Yeah, it's pretty freaking good. We are not weak in turn 1, I think we do this line. We know Echo Form now yet, I think we just do this. And full block. Instead of playing Cool Head, there was no more fusion. Uh, that's annoying, no hologram, no skim. Oh, that's kind of bad actually. I mean, just play hand, there's nothing else to do here. I don't liquid memories for this. We even have rest here if we want to. Oh, yeah, that's pretty annoying. Mm. Refrost or what? We are weakened now. That turns real next turn at least. I think I want to block maximum now, right? So chill first and then zap.
Um, let's play our item later or let's play it one time now. One time now is fine. I respect this fight a little bit considering that the turn two has not gone that well. That's pretty bad. Yeah, tanks decay. 53. Ah, 53. I mean, there was some guarantee lethal line, but uh, I want to get control of the fight instead of just killing this now. But maybe that's too greedy. Evoking all of this is 46 block, but then we are vulnerable next turn with no frost. That's bad. Probably just do this. Let's play this now, yeah. Fusion now is actually playing though because we have scheme on top and Halo in play. That's fine. <laughs> Lightning! Lightning, hello. I mean, it's probably fine, but like, it's still annoying. Eh? I mean, it's completely fine, but it's annoying in the sense that uh, it makes the algorithm harder to get in this spot. If I rebound here, it's guaranteed dead next turn, so I must draw out with them, otherwise I have two turns. Um, so maybe I don't rebound. Okay. At least you'll get the double out with them. The Glacier card. We can also take the Capacitor. And then this Capacitor is very strong. Mummify hand, bunch of focus, um, bunch of off fields now, echo form, chill, co headed, rainbow. Recurring force, only one co headed, no? So we click. <laughs> the fish, well, that's a little bit late. Yeah, that's a little bit late. In this part, I think we just uh, take the key. Hello, ship, thank you, good luck. <laughs> Ah, a lantern with a uh, bottle sweeping beam is also something, yeah. But we go here and rest now again. Those encounters. Kind of dangerous fight, but we do cut and wheel for this a little bit. Not drawing scheme. Ah, no scheme, no chill, no glacier, no echo form, yeah? And bad chosen pattern. Oh, that's scary. Also, uh, you see why we part for this uh, safe path, yeah? Instead of just doing like more aggressive uh, actual release or whatever. <laughs> but that is 
scary. And also the decay here certainly does not help. One chase now is back to 40. It's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You have... No. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 fights. Uh, 50%, yeah. Is it easy in this fight? Oh, that, yeah, the slavers, right? So freaking easy. <laughs> but yes, I, I do agree. This fight is very, very, very bad. <laughs> fight is very bad. So how do I deal with this? Probably even with liquid memories is not this turn, right? Might need to memories the glacier after. So we take eleven this turn. Next turn vulnerable, so this is that does thirty one um, very very bad things can happen though. No? If I memories the quitted now, I do gain uh, a loop block next turn, one off immediately and maybe the defract can so three block now three block next turn, six block, yeah, nine block. And one draw. Watcher, Watcher is a... Uh... Watcher ended at 39. Holy crap, what the hell? Wait, give me a second guys, sorry. Uh, there are two pretty big bugs flying around my room. <laughs> and I have no idea where they came from. I guess just a season. Oh god. Okay, just ignore them and hopefully they fly away. <laughs> if they don't fly away, then I probably would need to leave for like 5 minutes or so. Like close... Uh... Yeah, shut down. Uh... Turn off all the lights and hopefully they go outside. But kind of box is like the. Uh, it's kind of like a dragonfly, except it's. It, it looks like a dragonfly, but it's different. It's bigger. And I have no idea what it is. Okay, Liquid Memories, um, go edit. And see. And refract. A bunch of daisies now. I guess I should still play this. It was pattern, but uh, we did draw decent cards at least. It also means that the scheme is useless, yeah, because there's only brick here. <laughs> and the captain's wheel is going in. The hollow double energy is. Going back to four that does nothing. Uh, not playing echo form here is bad, but playing echo form, we might die here actually. We actually might die here with this pattern and this draw order from 38 now. Because we cannot kill this cultist and we are vulnerable. And there's no real cast left in this deck, uh, in this draw power from here. Oh, I might actually just die. Pretty insane, but you know, we've chosen these sides to do that and chosen these sides to do that. <laughs> I can see Hollow rebound. I think 47 blocking 26, yeah? I can full block this, but problem with full blocking this is that it doesn't progress the fight. <laughs> ah, might actually just die here. One potion, 40 whatever HP, we want to chosen Cultist and we just die. Like what? <laughs> I have to play Echo or what? Yeah, how do I kill this Cultist from here? The lightning needs to hit, yeah? I can streamline, hollow streamline, but that doesn't, doesn't cut it.
And the machine learning is that even true, though? No? Is that actually true? <laughs> and yeah, every time it comes together, yeah, it's like the chosen fight and then it goes pattern. Bad draw the with worst pattern is like the absolute worst thing here because you cannot really deal with it, even with the potion. I could have not leaked the memories the co-headed, but that gave us a threat immediately this turn. And yeah, the fact that we actually draw too many real cards here is uncomfortable. I uh, draw missing energy as well. Chio is not drawn. Echo form is not down turn one or turn two. Now it's just too late. So I had to do the like hollow chills, um, hollow rebound and rebound streamline. <laughs> if I do that, I'm taking how much? Um, 31, so 31, 16, 47, 26, I'm taking 21, 9, 18, I'm going to 20. Next turn, there's still not a guaranteed lethal here, yeah? It's a decent chance to kill, but it's not a guaranteed lethal, and this guy is still floating around. We have no echo form in play. And our draw power is like this garbage. Is that safe here? We are not even dead. What do you mean? Sneakers, I, I tell you, I know you mean no harm. You're annoying as hell sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm telling you straight up right now. I, I know you mean no harm. You're annoying as hell. Like, leave me be, please. Like, uh, this fight is important. So, uh, so uh, I don't even know what the line is yet. And you're asking nonsense. <laughs> yeah, so um, there are a few considerations here. Number one. I don't think we can ever do... Bow lightning, hollow bow lightning. That's just dumb. But we can do streamline, hollow streamline. Uh, zero cost doesn't actually matter though. Or we can do echo form. Hope that discount on the more expensive cuts. Playing glacier into bow lightning is another thought. That is. Full block, but the problem with full blocking is that the cultist is fully healthy. Next time it attacks me for 24 because I'm vulnerable. In <sighs> way of the bad cards, yeah, it's, we skim into nothing. And energy this turn is just so insanely. We are extremely energy starved already. I do not think we can be allowed to just play some random skim. Because even with all 4 energy, we don't kill the cultist, yeah? And this cultist must die. It's like, we, you play scheme, you advance your fight by 0 0.6 turns. <laughs> yeah, you advance the fight by 0 0.6 turns, but uh, in the meantime, if the cultist hits you for 24 next turn, that is already bad, uh, worse than one turn of the Chosen. Oh yeah, no. Playing scheme is just dumb. I... Uh, but probably we cannot play Echo Form here. <sighs> Bow into Glacier makes no sense. Glacier into Bow Landing. Glacier into Bow Landing next turn with passive block for 12. Hello Wood card. Uh, yeah, it doesn't work either. I know, right? I think I hollow rebound, yeah, and we rebound the streamline. But that is very bad. Okay, lightning hits there at least, so we can guarantee kill on the thing this turn. Funnily enough, this uh, chosen debuff vulnerable now is not even that bad if I don't want to chill immediately. I hope I draw into freaking chill now. Actually, no, chill now is meaning that I lose lightning next turn. Or maybe it's still bad. <laughs> or maybe it still just sucks. 
I do draw chill now, so I can choose. I can choose to chill for one or two. If I chill for two, it means that my I'm only blocking eight next turn, but uh, I have a decent chance to draw force field. Actually, I always draw force field. Yeah, I actually always draw force field here. Then I block twenty next turn, and most I take eleven. Um, and it can also do the other thing, you know, instead of just doing Vaughn into big into Vaughn into big. Also, by the way, if we don't kill the Cultist system, we are dead, yeah? So it's a good thing that I did go for the rebound streamline line, that we can kill this now. But now we need to decide whether to chill for, I don't know. Lose 4 block against 7 right now, so it must be good, right? We can turn for now, yeah, a billion things, depending on what this guy is doing. We might even take 0 next turn, but we can also take 11. Wow. My chosen, you are so freaking good. Why do I always draw force field? Because the days is never shuffle in on top of draw power. Due to some coding error. Don't ask me why that is the case. I mean, I can't explain exactly why that is the case, but uh, it is in the game. <laughs> the days, the new days is never on top. No, actually, to be fair, that can still mean force field can be bottom deck, but the chance is lower. The chance is lower than 1 out of 6. And the Halo work can also give me something. Yeah. Shuffle now. Sure, sometimes we can draw into scheme or whatever, make sure block. Playing force field first and then compile driver doesn't make sense. So shuffling now is good. Uh huh. Uh, loop now to discount the compile driver is okay, but shuffle in a days. Still fine though, because the days never on top. Okay. Could be worse. So, yeah, rebound streamline, play force field, and just move on. Yep, very stupid fight, but we are alive. <laughs> now, um, here's when I get stupid, but I will do it. I want to play algorithm. <laughs> But yeah, it's like the the worst pattern, yeah? It's like vulnerable to 31 to vulnerable to 31. And we also draw a bed. So that's a 4% pattern. Into bed draws. And we are not even safe yet because these uh <laughs> these falls are also here. We have no sustain, no potion now. <laughs> like stack plan I will go to wreck and just kill us turn one. Which is why I want to stack algorithm a little bit. And we are not vulnerable next turn anymore. We have passive block 20. It should be safe. Ah, I disconnected from chat again. Okay, it's back. Uh, full block this. Next turn we always draw our way to bull landing. So, yeah. Decay? No, decay is from wheel. So auto is still around. We can see second decay. And the second decay would be forced. Oh god, it's green. And I'm not talking about the recursion. <laughs> we are dying very short term, and this thing is green. It full blocks. Yeah, I take it, yeah. Unfortunate, but it's fine. If we basically uh, with the modified hand as well, survive long term. If we live for a bit, like we could probably be in a much better spot. Now the very annoying thing here though is that even after we rest for collector, even after we rest here, we are still not in very safe HP, yeah. But I do take this. You can take this for the dark or with the recursion, I don't care. I uh, don't take advanced hallways. Yeah, don't take advanced hallways, he said. Do not take advanced hallways, guys. Do not. <laughs> this fight at least is probably manageable, but uh, not entirely certain. Turn 3, we are safe. But we need to block turn 2. Um, power first. 
pretty really compatible for us. Alright, let's play hand then. I want to loot frost, so we do rainbow first and then zap, yeah. Okay, Glacier is doing Ghost Quirk. Nice Echo Form. So we cannot Echo Form our Wisdom here, but I don't really care. Alright, of course, Dark of Hits here. Um, ah, still fine. You're fine. Next one's only 11. We have to chill. Uh, so no problem. In fact, doing this is better because... Um, let's play this now. Yeah, doing this way is better because we are guaranteed to have hologram on the good card. Wow, so blocking next turn. And having two frost up as well, yeah. I'm going now for exhaust. Are we okay? Yeah, we are like pretty okay. Not completely safe or anything, but mostly okay. In fact, to be actually safe, I should hollow glacier. <laughs> yeah, I actually will do that. I say block 20 now, so we just kill this and we are fine. With the Halo World as well. Yeah, the annoying thing is that we have another fight to go and then another question mark before we get to a fire. And the fire resting is not even giving us safe HP for Collector. Yeah? If the Echo Form is uh, not behaving like it has been. Echo Form hasn't been behaving very well. Not free anymore, at least. I can finally kill this, just took a while. Okay, potion, reinforced body plus. Uh, I just had a freaking leap though. Another compound driver, which is a brick on turn one. Another algorithm, but we are not in position to carry this around. So if I pick anything, it's this. I think I still do. It's a good thing with Mummified Hand as well. Turn in Mystic again. Oh yeah, the Leap Plus. I mean, I see the Leap Plus in my hand, I'm fairly happy. <laughs> because on Segway, we rolled the pattern 39% and most attack on turn 1. Um, Loop first and see, yeah? Where it hits. Okay. So, without the sleep in hand and we don't draw an extra block card, we die. Wow. <laughs> but the leap is in hand, so we already take 6. Um, next spot now is fairly... it's low chance, eh? It's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 50%, drop 1 potion, 40%. 40% potion chance, but next spot can be quite good at the collector fight. 
Right now it's only blocks 2 and we have Echo Form in place, so it's pretty unlikely to save HP next turn. She never attacks next turn. If this can attack again for 14, we go to 7. So we need to block 7, Echo Form in play. Hopefully that is doable. If it's uh, otherwise, the next one we need to block 5. Not a threshold, right? If we draw block, we will have 7 block. Yeah. So I don't export now. And this guy doesn't always attack either. Uh, this should be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. Next one, Captain's Wheels, I think, I want to keep Lightning Loop. We still have to to feel Frost if we want to. And we can double the algorithm. Lightning Orb will hit the beast stick. Um, we don't care. It's not over yet, huh? it's still quite big. It's still going. Not bad. <sighs> okay, now we can double our wisdom. We want to. Probably still better to kill this first, though. Buffing strength also doesn't matter. Get a potion, no, unfortunately. No op slot, so the consume makes the um, double defrag as well. So it makes the compound driver worse. Thunder might still be picked. Probably should be. We have no AOE solution um, at all. We are fighting collector. Retomancer potentially burning around the table. No electro. Seeming be minus being mortal is not good enough. And the console is not as strong. White noise is okay ish, but also not that good. We have no heat sinks. Yeah, Sunder is fine. Uh, this is still in Sneko. We are still very much uh, open to some Sneko ideas. And Sunder would perform. Yeah, Sunder would fear pause as well. That was quite a lot. Essence of Steel versus Dex pot. I think Dex is stronger, right? With Echo Form. Yeah, Dex should be stronger. You are late. <laughs> Better late than never, but you are late. Hopefully you don't die. Sunder on turn 1, yeah, that's not a good start. 
Seeing Sun on turn one is not exactly uh, the greatest thing out there. We do have Captain's Wheel though. Yeah, I swear to God, if I draw into Echo Form now, I would. Uh... Ah, do I draw then? Like, come on. Fusion will compile here is like 1 out of 23 to draw Echo Form, yeah? And then everything sucks. Everything actually sucks. If we draw into Echo Form now, we might die. In fact, we are pretty likely to die if this compound driver draws Echo. So maybe I shouldn't just. <laughs> I, I just shouldn't do it. Sometimes it draws Echo Form very late, if we don't play it now, but yeah, Scheme draws 4, Fusion draws hopefully 3, this draws 1, so we have 8 draws in here, 23, so we have 3 turns, and 2, 3, 4, so we draw Echo Form on the debuff turn, and afterwards we do have it in play. Yeah, 23 is like still exactly enough to reach the end of the draw power, yeah? And that's considering that sometimes Hologram, not even considering Hologram can sometimes draw. Yeah, I think I just do compile fusion. Uh, double energy now. Yeah, she attacking on turn two is good. Yeah, her attacking on turn two is very good for us. So at least there's that. I can rebound cool headed into com hologram compile driver. Rebound co edit hologram compile driver four energy so we have four left. If I draw into echo form and still play, and I'm drawing to vision, and I'm drawing to chill. Dexport, yes, we do dexport. But uh, not before I play the first block card. I'm just thinking whether I should rebound this. Because I can also do hollow com hollow rebound compound and then co edit to compile again, but yeah. Doing that before I yeah, drink a power before going in, doesn't make sense. So, yeah, probably not. Which means, um, yeah, rebound cool headed. Into hollow compound, yeah. I can fear port as well to sunder, hollow sunder instead, but I think I want to draw. Okay. If it draws an echo, we can play this charge battery and then discount with the loop. Otherwise, I just play hand. Go block. Turn to captain's wheel and steal energy loop. Oh, it's ready for the scheme into echo or something. Ah, vision is fine. Oh, come on. Okay, echo. We are not echoing any power here, yeah? It's still late. Don't even draw scheme this turn. She's buffing now. Maybe it's still fine. Leaving this in the redraw is possible, but it's probably just a bad idea. Three frost, right? Yeah, three frost. So I do it like this. If it kills here instantly, then I'm also happy with that because you have Glacier still. Otherwise, a three frost. Making the K, man. First guy echo, but okay, not. <laughs> uh, what's more important, loop or hello world? Double loop is stronger than double hello world. It gives me four block next one immediately, but it's only four. We need to luck. We can play everything anyway. And, um, and yeah, I think I just play Halo World first to see what it discounts. Okay, and discount Echo is very good. <laughs> if that's the case... <laughs> just Echo, Glacier and Greed, the double loop, is it a thing? Or is it stupid? It's only 4 block per turn if I greet this loop. And it forces an Echo... It forces an echo stack on it later. Now the thing is that rainbow this turn is not being played either though. Because I do rainbow to glacier, I loop the dark, not frost. 
And next turn I have 37 But I guess we can kill here always with the echo in play Maybe that's fine Yeah, maybe that's actually fine Yeah, maybe that's actually fine, I should play Henry So, Rainbow, Glacier, Glacier uh, loop Rainbow goes first Ah Does that change anything? <laughs> no, not really <laughs> Yep, she's going in But uh, we're okay <laughs> Funny enough, this Dark Orbing loop actually help us kill this now so let's do that. Nineteen. Uh, twenty-nine. Energy next turn, not very important. We can still greet this, yeah. <laughs> I hope that's not dumb, but I think we, we can still greet this. 37, so I'm taking 4. If I play Reinforced Body, if I play this, I take 1. 25 with all powers in play, passive block 20, deck spot, that should be okay. The summon is very bad. Especially when the Thunder misses again. Yeah, every summon is the absolute worst thing she can do here. But maybe it's still not that bad. Uh, do I want to double compound? Do I want to deal some damage now with double thunder? <laughs> double compound some random cast. Next turn I know that the force field is not actually such a bad draw. If she attacks it is how much? These are doing 7 base so it's 10. And she's doing um, 39, so we are facing 59, 39, force field is 14 blocks, so it becomes minus 4, that's 10, 20, 40, so we take 19 maximum next turn, we have force field. The problem is the turn after, but it can redraw glacier, can redraw reinforce, can redraw algorithm. I think I just double thunder now and deal damage. If I play the compound driver, we once again face a risk of one of three to draw force field. Because I already have like rebound force field into sweeping beam force field next turn even block four more with the thing as well while dealing AOE damage. So I don't think I play this compound. I just double thunder and end turn. Yeah, 59. Oh, go for the ice grid. Uh, our item here can be used immediately as well. It's not actually even a good redraw, yeah? it's mainly better than the leaf plus, which is good, but I don't actually want this uh, floating around too much. So this is fine. We uh, reapply wick on her or do I can... I can also uh, rebound glacier that makes us completely safe next turn as well. But probably go for is good enough because we still want to advance the fight somehow. So let rebound go for sweeping beam go for um, boss field. Okay, she attack again, so I will go for lens. Also, lock twenty facing forty nine, so we never die this turn. Yeah, uh, I think we can start with double cool header. Yeah, that's fine. Next time she never attacks, so we can rotate the orb around a little bit. And we block with fan here. Taking one. 
Uh, also, yeah, the next spot is pretty cool. Next turn, debuff runs out, so this fight is probably solved. Probably. <laughs> See, of course, he's still extremely healthy, but we out debuffs, we probably can just block her and then kill, kill new minions. Do I want to shuffle Thunder or not? Probably yes, so something like this. The four D. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> it's fine, but yeah, thanks. I no, this fight is not over yet. I think the fight is won, but it's not completely over. It's probably good. In fact, I can even loop. Uh... In fact, I can even get more lightning for damage now. If it resummons, you can feel again. It does resummon, so that's pretty nasty. I can probably feel force again. If I if I draw exactly the glacier, I play that. Otherwise, I just charge battery, arras, go for. Still loop frost. We always draw into glacier here. Only 45, yeah? So, um... Yeah, this full block. <laughs> okay, Polar. Are we doing... Pretty annoying run so far. I mean, it should be a lot smoother, but we walk into... So we got a Frost Curse from the wheel uh, in the middle of back 2, and then we walk into a completely horrendous chosen cultist fight. <laughs> that almost killed the run, but... I think we have gotten past um, the dangerous part. She never attack next turn, the rebound go for it does not make sense. Bounce up doesn't make sense either though. I think I want 3 of ties now with triple compound driver. So plasma earlier probably, so something like this. Triple compound driver is said. Not sure. Summon again. Yeah, I just guess it's fine. Cannot really save this uh, minion, yeah? 50% already dies, so I just kill it now. A power driver next turn is probably okay. Still not safe yet, which is crazy, but it's true. Bomb thunder. Ah, uh, yeah, should be fine. That's great. The uh, gopher. Go block. And yeah, if she does not resummon again. Attacking again this turn is good. And double leap. Now I can finally deal some damage to her, you yeah? know?
Was I like to boss? Yes. <laughs> oh. If she attacks, we have double reinforce. Right, I don't even need to double reinforce here. Ah, she's dead. Well, annoying act. Very annoying act. But here's the sick plus for trouble. Electro is okay to with the thunder, but you know, uh, sick plus we take. Eh? <laughs> Backstyle at first part thing not ideal, and I don't even want to fight Retomancer. Uh, Slaver's Caller, uh, 5 energy in boss fight, but we have Mummy Fight Hand. Tiny House, give us an upgraded card. 50 go upgraded card, 5 max HP. I don't know, the Caller doesn't actually even play that well though, with Mummy Fight Hand already. To be fair though, yeah, we can feel the energy shortage um, if our echo form is late. If our echo is early, we are fine. But if echo form is late, then yes, we do feel it. We do have energy pot for like 1 5 for that. This house is pretty really good, yeah, by the way. Any house really good and black star? Why? Why is it worse? It gives, a, it gives you a weaker strawberry, yeah, so it's also a weak relic. Strawberry plus uh, 5 max energy plus 50 gold is basically a relic. And you gain um, a potion and an upgraded card. Toxic egg. And a random upgrade. And a random upgrade in this deck is honestly quite strong, no? Isn't the tiny house like, pretty cool here? And then it upgrades my echo form. What? <laughs> oh, it upgrades my halo world as well, yeah? Hmm. I don't think I want black star though. Um, if anything, I pick color. Because yeah, the, with the scheme plus, we can use the five energy. Uh, you can you can see it in this act. Is that with four energy, there are a lot of times that we actually will be shot. I'm always like in the I'm always a little bit scared of drawing into echo form in early turns. So five energy means that we don't that doesn't happen. And it's playing boss call, it depends a lot in our deck after this. But at the same time you can also see you can also say with Toxic Egg. We have um maybe a bunch of coded plus coming in. Any scheme comes green and suddenly yeah, we are short on energy. Hologram comes green, equi comes green. Ah, this color is probably fine. Color is probably fine. Boss part thing, I'm not even comfortable fighting elites. Act 3, so I don't want the black star. Maximum is 3 elites if you can. Force elites come. Uh, burning elite comes very early on, but um, that's okay. Starting here or here. Is, yeah, here is just better because we still have option to go to shop, which we probably do. So it's basically the same, but here is slightly better, but sometimes you go here for whatever reason. Okay, I take a short break and then we uh, talk about this act, yeah? I guess I can show you the map from the Burning Elite onwards. Ah, it's not too interesting, like, this is probably better. <laughs> oh yeah, be right back.
If I have a lot of string, was forgot to grab a key. I have never forgotten any key. <laughs> yeah, I have never forgotten a key, <laughs> ever. <laughs> but okay. Uh, yeah, just start here, do two fight to shop, and reevaluate. Yeah, we have enough gold to remove the curse and. With the red mask, the question mark becomes slightly stronger. We are going to let one here, maybe two here. Probably never have never go to double shop because I got the max fights. Uh, we'll see. Now we see apple in the shop, the expensive. We cannot buy apple and remove, so that would be quite rude. <laughs> because I do want this decay to freaking go away. <laughs> but we'll see. plus uh trying to double this in this fight is not going to happen yeah probably not so i just play this now ow after the squeal Let's draw further. Yes, but the usual, right? This deck has very a lot of power to set up, and we can refill up after this play. So yeah, the fusion would be great, even unavoided. Right? It's just a good card. In specific condition, it is a good card. <laughs> is dead at least. The no, cast also kill, but this also kills, doesn't matter. Yeah, nice stop to the egg. One chance now 50. Uh we do go to this shop, yeah. Okay, chill scripts. So we don't get to double our rhythm again, but I guess it's fine. Uh, evoke 5 to 11, 14, so it's possible to do cool headed ball lightning, cool headed hologram. If I cool headed it to fusion, you can still play a cool form. Ah! Ah! Interesting. <laughs> So now I can still double this, yeah? Maybe. And it's full blocking. <laughs> Yikes! Hello? <laughs> Hello? So we are taking uh, 6 damage here, apparently. Yeah, apparently we're just taking 6 damage. I think this is fine. Ow.
Wow. Actually, you're getting exploded in your face, but at least you can double this and full bluff. <laughs> but yes, no, no exploder solution. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, nothing else to do, so we just let this thing die to this lightning. Oh yeah, Steffi looking forward to removing this freaking decay. Next draw. Getting a uh, yeah, getting a freaking curse for free in this type deck is not exactly what you want to happen. Sweep over with the color now energy pot not as important only in hallway fights. Um, fear pot. It's also not very important though because Thunder already kills the Retomancer dagger. 24 is enough and I've waited. Sometimes not enough, sometimes 25, but uh, unlikely. Energy pot does play with Skim, does play with the reinforced body. Can make us draw quite far into the echo form and still be fine. Pretty well with double energy as well. Mm. Indeed, uh, you can do it faster like this, like set effect. Five. We have the technology. That also updates the time. Yeah, uh, fear boss is not that important. And then we go into like darklings here, no fear boss thunder, and then I cry. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah, nothing to buy here, so we just remove freaking decay. Buying fairy in this spot is something. <laughs> Buying purity is also something, but probably not. Uh, yeah, remove decay. Like, please get out. So buying the fairy. Um, if you go here again, then how much is sixty to fifty? So we can still pay for remove. Cannot buy relic though. If we choose to, if we have to go to this fire to rest after this floor. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go here with the fairy. Maybe we can. And only rest once though. So leaving one elite behind and maybe one empty shop is not that bad, you can still remove here. No, I do just buy this fairy here. Act 4 right now, first cycle block, we don't have anything to do that yet. Spear and shield uh, is also looking to be maybe slightly annoying. Of course we have toxic egg and one entire axe, so we could get a lot stronger. In that case, of course we do. I can uh, remove this zap. like. Complete garbage, you can remove like fusion even, but probably not. But Zap can go... Afterwards maybe fusion can go... Afterwards you still have another up uh, remove, you can remove even like dual cards or something. But our damage is looking to be quite slow here with this card deck, maybe Spear and Shield is a problem. And the is not that strong. And... Maybe if we go for aggressive partner, Fairy is also good. I just buy it, yeah. Ancient. Is our fairy for this thing? I get 11 in the moment. Uh, if I fission away, sure. On chains right now, we drop one pot. In two fights of 40%, I can draw pot. This draw pot is very important, though. No? For Act 4 Elites. So, we can also pretend that we're playing a Sozu, yeah? Don't use potion. After this fight, we just go here and rest. Or if we face Retomancer problems here, then this is important. Yeah, this is actually safer against Retomancer sometimes. If we see it here. And this at least not, like, force or anything. If we go here, we extra rest. No pandem, they will probably summon to uh, 12 parts, fish a lot. <laughs> the cringe character, you're unlucky. 
I we just take this hit, yeah. And maybe even in, later on in this fight, I can save us a lot of HP too, because this fight is not so easy. So it's really, really not so easy. Take for double energy glacier, for example, is fine. You can take for power thunder too. Like compile, zap, um, yeah, compile zap and then power and then rebound thunder. But I don't actually want to rebound thunder. Probably do get the loop though. Yeah, maybe loop thunder is good. Rainbow is look good too. <laughs> Maybe just loops under, yeah. Maybe just loops under. <laughs> so what's the line? Like compile first. Uh, 50, yeah. So we do 7, 16. Sunder is 40. 40 need 10. So just with this full blocking. And I can choose to rebound something or not. Next one we have Captain's Wheel, I just want to draw into other powers to set up. But maybe we can double zap next turn. I probably have better things to double next turn. Not okay. Now I can double rainbow maybe. If I don't want to defy, just play it. And leave the all what's is. Be fine. Don't want this next turn, so I play it now. Loop Dark is okay. Double Awitam in this last turn would be nice. Uh, if not, then... Okay, I guess not even a single out with them then, but that's also fine. <laughs> you know, what can you do? This deal is 11, this is 12, so it's better. This is 12, so it's better. This is 11, so it's fine here. And then these are both 9, so it's the same. Ah, cell repair. Yeah, still very good. Yeah? And it might give us this elite then. The more. I hope our damage is not too slow for this fight. <laughs> because if we go form is there, our damage is very slow. We block for... Ah, okay, echo form is not lit. Yeah, if echo form is not lit, I'm not that scared. You'll need to block 30 next turn, no? Sometimes. Um, Sick definitely goes on echo, and then what is the second cut? I see chill and then we can do chill into bow lightning. Hmm, maybe. Ah, discount rainbow, then we can do some other things. Like this then. 30. Double loop into 18.27, so take 3 at most, if I double this loop. Um, probably a good line. Yeah, I would take 3. 
And we keep this uh, Darkwing loop as well for some damage. Next one, never attack, so loop Dark again, but Fission might be played. 60 damage now, Compound Driver is worse next turn. Probably wait, right? I don't think I want to do a cast into Turbo Fusion. Next one, double algorithm, so we can still loop this. Yeah. Mostly fine. By the way, now I would really like the recursion plus from before that we pick the leap plus over to survive short term. <laughs> it would be quite nice now. Oh, yeah. The Dark Orb is dealing a lot. Now double cell repair and then get out. Okay, good fight. So we took um, we double algorithm here. We took three damage and we heal fourteen. Uh, no potion use. Very good outcome. No potion drop. Point chance right now is 60. Who sequence plus? 5 energy in important fights already, but we do have bottle sweeping beam. Not that a 6 damage is significant though, at this point. Only maybe in Retomancer. So mostly a brick draw, no 0 for 1. <laughs> yeah, Retomancer is also by far the scariest fight. Or out the three of these. Fusion Plus is not good enough, right? Even though we have like a compound driver and a fusion in the scheme. And Barrage is no no off slot. So we just skip. Access with Nemesis. Uh, Echo Form down to turn one. Very good. Okay. So we just stick for Echo Glacier probably. And play hand. Can sing like Echo Reinforce Body or something, but I think I want Frost Orb now. If we take 4, we take 4. And we might now still not take damage. Yeah. <laughs> nice double energy. Blue Frost. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Now we can double our powers. That one's good this turn. Is it not now, eh? I see block is um, 25, 33. Okay, I want to rebound this beam cell basically. But we can do something like this. Oh, maybe I do. If it burns me next time, you go just double beam cell. If it's 45, then we need to do something else, but... If it's like this, if it's 21 um, and I get Compound Driver, then I can also double beam cell too. Was like Bloom, as of now, no. 
Even though it would be very strong as of now, still no. Because once again, yeah, we're actually not in a terrible spot. It's in a playable spot. My Bloom upgrade O is either you're completely safe because you have relics that cover for that. Or potions that cover for that. Or you're in a position that is unwinnable if without upgrade O. And you take that. But this run right now is still fine. It's not that bad. And uh, also it's not that safe either. We'll cast payoff now. Probably okay. Yeah, at some point it does 45, but it's fine. Double this. Four hours, we don't see redraw this burn. Yeah, I guess looping lightning now already kills guarantee, so I can just do that. So we just heal 14. Yeah, once again, that bow I with him and heal 14 after winning lead is very, very good outcome. No potion use, immortal helps a bit. Equip plus, we take. This is strong too though. This is also very strong. <laughs> Full energy block 16 with 10. Zero energy block 16. Or recursion that deals a ton of damage with uh, Dark Orb. Um, if we have no other ways to deal damage. If we cannot figure out how to deal damage, the uh, recursion can help a lot. But uh, I think I think Equia. Yeah? And with just healing of this fight, I think we are allowed to go here now and ignore this fire. Into this matchup. I don't mind, so I'm still willing to use this pot. I would prefer not to, but I'm willing to. Okay, fire is actually good. If we don't take a lot here, fire is actually good. I can take two here if I play the sweeping beam. Um, should probably still play it. <laughs> So now uh, Explorer also lines up with Captain's Wheel all way, so it's not that bad. Even if it ends up being bad. But yeah, it is fine. We still heal 14, yeah? so I seek for Sunder killing this. And then um, if we get Echo Form to Glacier, we are taking a 12. That's probably bad, so maybe just delay the Echo Form a bit, it's fine. Sunder's for sure, and then maybe chill afterwards. Yeah, chill at first even. Ah, okay. Convenient. Yeah, don't mind if I do then. So we heal 14 here. We are full HP. And get another toxic egg card into the elite. Very good. Uh can't play this. I don't want to. I won't. Okay, so now we can take our time, yeah? Oh, 
Nothing else to do, right? Already heal 14, already double play this. Consume plus. Uh, no off slots. Man, I would like a capacitor right about now. The one that we did not pick earlier because we were freaking dying. <laughs> also, actually, we were not dying, but we picked Glacier over it. And yes, Glacier is pretty good. Yes, Glacier is pretty good. Like it or not. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think this Consume Plus is just strong enough. Um, probably just take. One chance now, one, two, three, four, five, six fights. We draw two pots, so 60%. Yep, here's Reto Mansa. Uh, play this first. Okay, Echo Form again on turn one. Whenever we have six on turn one, I feel a lot safer. <laughs> we Echo Thunder, yeah, we can Thunder this, and Echo Form is in play. I don't know, this guy is slightly better, I guess, if she resummons next turn, then we can block this. Slightly worse because this guy has two more HP, but... Um, yeah, 16, if we double play this, it still kills anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. <laughs> auto ability, fire, save a color? Yeah, exactly. After this, I have auto lightning, yeah, for our sick. Loop, Frost, over Lightning, yes. Oh yeah, if she resummons, we just block this turn and she resummon resummon one only. So we just block. Exactly why we killed the front dagger first, yeah. Because if we kill the back dagger, she summons two always this turn. I mean. Exactly for the 2-block. Now she attacks, but that's totally fine. I think I double defrag in this kind of spot instead of doubling our rhythm. We just go around for this. Set up our block engine first. Single consume, I don't think we double consume here. But yeah, that's fine too. Honestly, the, uh, all the daggers are dead, so we full block this turn for sure. Yeah? We still have retain. So we can double defect again, but I might want to double the loop instead. I can play this now. If I don't draw loop this turn, I could double defrag. But otherwise, I double loop. And single defrag is fine. Echo from 6 on turn 1, suddenly the fight going from it goes from very dangerous to trivial. <laughs> because Thunder is down turn 1, Echo form is down turn 1, and then we are like totally fine. Calipers, yes, Calipers would be very, very, very good. Just because we have this card. We also have a, a lot of other things that work with Calipers, yeah? But uh, just this card alone makes the Calipers like, super strong.
Okay, I see we summon, then I guess we do try to kill. Old coin. Uh, no shop now, but in Max I like for shop very big. That also means that we do not want to go to question marks now because yeah, red mask go is too much. Compound driver plus. Black plus is not so important. Compound driver is slightly weaker and we consume and maybe still fire and fire base energy. Not that great though, I would like cool headed so, or scheme over it instead. I haven't seen any cool headed or co snap this act though. Yeah, no off so is not that strong. We have this also. Probably not. Yeah, probably not. I just skip, yeah. Turn 1 empty draw is fairly bad because this... Yeah, this deck just don't want to break turn 1, honestly, and then we are, like, chilling. Don't know feather, yeah, garbage. Question mark first, in case we want to double question mark somehow. We had to go to 1 and uh, no matter what. Infinite... How good such bad are these? It is madness plus. With echo form and mummified hand, but the draw amount drawn the deck is only the skim. Uh, well, this skim plus is a freaking godsend, yeah? Deck is fairly small after being everything is played is still true, and we have the equi now. But it's just scaling that we don't need, right? Is that even true? After we play all powers, our output is good, but it's not overwhelmingly strong, you know, even with the echo form and all the defracts and loops in play. Our output is good, but it's not overwhelmingly strong. Damage is still slow. And this madness can help a bit with that. It's just also a brick on early turns, but we have Lizard Tail, Self Repair against like 4 Elites. Uh, not Lizard Tail, but the Fairy and the Draw Pot. Maybe these are fine. But uh, yeah, I don't think I want to go here. Folding is bad. Sensory Stone, Red Relics are excellent, but um, Red Mask Gold is also wasted now. We have too much gold after the old coin. I just want to here, go here and farm some cut. Especially if I take this, I want to farm more cut draw. Yeah? And I, I think I'm taking this madness. Yeah, I think I'm actually taking this madness, even though it might be dumb. How bad can green cast be anyway? Cannot be that bad. Maybe. Now once again, sick on turn 1 is great. Uh, we sunder this immediately. Double energy echo... Sure. I don't know why I did that actually. That's probably fine. Ah, that's probably fine. Next time, Captain's wheel, yeah? And their madness. Yeah, yeah, the menace breaks turn 1, but it does improve our maximum output, which is the, the thing. But right now, I'm not even confident that our maximum output is good enough. Especially our damage output. With uh, no recurring dark orb recursion, whatever. Not even a streamline, no vulnerable. No damage relic. None of these relics. These relics are good, yeah? But none of these actually deal damage. <laughs> and here's the madness that uh, our deck is actually fairly small after exhaust, even don't play Halo Wood. And I don't need to play Halo Wood in the hard fight. In fact, I can even remove Halo Wood, but that's probably going too far, but we'll see. And then we play around just having maybe zero cost, uh, Thunder, or even zero cost, like Charge Battery or Leap, also does pretty decent. With Echo Forms, you can make it four copies, and with the Equi to something would happen.
For now, of course, they are breaking because we don't have enough draw yet. Thunder. Ah, probably just go around actually. Yeah, probably just go around. Stupid. Ain't no one else stupid? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty stupid because uh, this right now deals your damage issues immediately. It's not draw. I mean, uh, to be fair, finding cool here is probably more likely than finding rainbow plus, but you know. <laughs> it's good. I, I mean, I still pick this, but. Uh... Yeah, if I don't see more draw, this this madness is going to be like really really bad, eh? Huh? And what's draw pot strong and cautious now that we have the uh, rainbow? Root. So we don't get to double our with them this turn. Uh, this fight, but maybe just fine. Oh, it's fine. We don't have eternal feather healing um, and self repair, so it's mostly okay. Four block, cut and squeal. The cost scheme is cool, huh? The cost compound is also cool. I don't know about purity. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about the purity. Purity probably not. Coordinate is impossible, yeah? Actually, impossible. <laughs> but we skip here. Like, there's nothing here that's good, no. This can only red toes, of course, we fight.
So it is a consume next turn that's not eat the dark orb. Okay. Uh, doubling all powers. I think I will actually just do that. Exhaust this now, it's fine. Okay, Madness on Glacier, probably good. I want to equip your skin. I mean, if I don't want the, if I just want the skin, I can also do that. I probably want the skin, right? That would be fine, and then seek for equi next turn and just play really slow. Um, totally fine. I am doubling all powers. We have a loop coming, yeah? So we can loop 4. If I do 10... So basically, if I consume here, we go to 12 and the 60 passive block, uh, which is fine. Otherwise, we have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 54 passive block. 16 then rainbow is putting dark in front and not frost so maybe two slots is better no no double play rainbow is so one two three one two three um so frost dark and then lightning lightning invoke frost dark ah maybe two yeah two is better so i don't play the consume and remove last off yes you can I definitely do not recommend you to do that, but you can. It is possible. Evoke 1, Evoke 2, Evoke 3, so it's still the same order, right? Yeah. And I'll just sit here. Hello, Mera? Oh, am I pretty nice? I mean, this one's going, um... It's a roller coaster, but I think we have gotten pretty good things. Still, endgame is not completely safe, but it's cool. I mean, I mean, I bought it for a full, for full price while keeping a DK in my deck in Act 2, so it almost killed me. <laughs> but yes, now it's pretty good. I just do this, right? Can block 70 pretty easily. That 
How about I wait up next turn? That's because they're going to double stack it now because they need to, to block. And yes, here's Bull Lightning making uh, our best damage card in the entire deck. As usual. And still alive? I mean, it's fine. It's not even bad. It's just the... Uh, it had a very rough stretch in Act 2, but the deck itself is not so bad even inside Act 2. How many hours? Around 7,000 at this point. Uh, around 7,000. I was a lot 54, so I just do this. And we can, of course, block 70 every turn. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Also, don't need to, it's uh, dead. <laughs> Uh, actually impossible to find a co-headed. You have one co-headed star back one and that is it. Not even the co staff So at least uh, picking Glacier over the capacitor is not that bad if you never see any more frost. <laughs> but I would like... Claw no claw is from the Halo Good. But uh, I would like a little bit more draw. Would be nice. But yeah, this all sucked so we skip. Okay, Thunder Upgrade is something in this fight at least. Thunder Upgrade actually can play in this fight, so it's not that bad. A weapon one, pretty annoying by the way, with no uh, weakness. Because uh, these powers are not outscaling, it's like normal. So we only have to consume. Echo Form is still being played, consume is being played, but these are not positive now, so it's slightly annoying. Um, but I don't take these, yeah. Okay, right, stick on turn 1. Echo is down early at least. What do we do then? Uh, sick for Echo Madness? Or oh, the Chill. Sick for Chill is good too. Chill is probably better. And we just double Sunder next turn. <laughs> uh, free? No need, no need. Not yet. We need to kill the cultists first and then we deal with some other stuff. Here consume and do play. Hello Equi... Sure. Yeah, sure. Next one, Captain's Wheel. These power, none of these are positive to play, but living in the deck is um, making this guy... making us brick draws also. Oh yeah, the loop is blocking five more. Um, the defect is, if we play all the loops, then the defect blocking six each. But then I guess the loop would block for plus two focus or seven per loop. So this is blocking seven, this is blocking six. So we're losing one per loop play and two per defract play. Um, yeah, probably have to deal with that. But yeah, we don't double anything here. Have to have to deal with it. But I should play all of these powers, basically. <laughs> and just block this guy with Echo Form, Reinforced Body or whatever afterwards. Lots of 50-50. Ow. 
Uh, he's a madness. Sure. Okay, Tracer Zero Cost is not bad. And yeah, I should still play this. Self repair, I don't play it though. I would accept the self repair brick. Uh, that will manage us again, yeah? So now we can force it on one either scheme or comparable or both. I don't think I'm playing Halo World. Yeah, I don't think I'm actually playing Halo World in this spot. But this is fine. Okay, scheme zero cost, not bad. So for small turns, we are blocking fine. For bigger turns, we need to face 72. And passive block is... Um, 7, 7, um, 40. So we need to block 32 once every big turn, but we have the EP that we can double. Should be okay. Yeah, should be okay. Recycle would be nice, but not needed. Yeah, yeah, we double EP. And we can sneak in the rainbow to deal damage. Oh yeah, it's very important to not play Halo World here, yeah? Because we have a very, um... We have a pretty clean, consistent thing going on here. Without the Halo World in play, um, to make our deck bigger that we don't draw into our scheme and our Glacier as often. And our Equi. As long as we have scheme, Equi, or Glacier in hand, we never take damage. So we just do that. And I'm, I'm generally thinking about... <sighs> Potentially removing Halo World and Act 4 just because um, it makes our madness scaling like, a lot better. I pick Master Strategy Impatient Plus. I mean, I would buy them for full price. <laughs> oh, yes. Impatience is slightly more questionable, but probably still good. And Master Strategy, uh, yes, over a lot of things. I still retain this. Uh, I think I can loop dark. Let's loop dark. Oh, right. <laughs> well, there goes a the dark. Always fine. We can loop lightning. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's no problem. It's not like we cannot get the dark or back again. No, our damage is entirely dependent on that. Also. We have the rainbow plus here. Yeah, I just retain forever. This one still can loop lightning, yeah, with this full blocks. Still retaining, by the way. Now we don't retain anymore, but that's fine. And skin. Hello, we will push. 72. Uh, is this killing? I hope it's killing, otherwise, we're in a bit of trouble. <laughs> 7, 7. Um... Um, this is 8 each, yeah? so 16.33, it's not. Ah. Huh. Well, I guess we take a lot of damage this turn then. <laughs> the stream PFL, probably yes. I don't know whether I will stream it day one, but uh, I will definitely stream it at some point. 45, taking 27. And consume once more. Yeah, sure. I turn the one, yeah. And we have double cell repair later. It gave us one free turn to double cell repair and they have retain. That's probably good. Right, I guess we don't have double cell repair then. 
Yeah, we can just double glacial next turn like this. Have this being loop. Quite a lot of damage. Oh, not slot. <laughs> Sixty-six passive block thirty. Doubling cell repair here is a bit dangerous. I guess I can double hello wood now. Probably should just still play this first and see, and hope for the equi now is better. Okay, equi is here. Do not play consume. We can play hello wood now. Yeah, double sunder to attack is killing. In motor one nine. This fight annoying. I will have a menace been uh, not great, not terrible. So they are like okay. And yeah, this fight is just uh, very annoying. <laughs> Zero cost is fine. This side we definitely have play the Hello World. Ah, uh, block. Loop the Dark is okay too. I want to loot this dark, right? So... How do I do this? Let's see, I rebound something, rebound streamline, charge battery And then reinforce body is blocking 2 So 27, we are taking 7 damage with that But that's probably fine and it means that we never accidentally drawn to echo form of the immortal. Yeah, that's fine. It's in Captain's wheel. Yeah, and here's echo form. Take 6 to keep the hollow around. Probably good. We have full heal in Act 4, yeah? So we just want to get out of this fight clean. The cost scheme good. Let's double equi next turn, yeah? no need to push the clock now. 
Oh, Stark? No, it's fine, it's fine. We are freaking cooking him. He's being cooked right now. <laughs> oh, that of dealing or oh, recursion even. Yeah, recursion is pretty cool. Double recursion now and then do a cast next turn is dead. Um, so let's just do that. They still retain, yeah? So he's already dead. Which means we can seek for that. We'll do a cast now. Only play uh, our item Serape is irrelevant because we have full heal. So do a cast and then whatever, doesn't matter what the second cut is. You can get that for fun. Uh, do a cast kill with the first cut so we can play two more cuts and end turn. Yeah, right here. And now we kill. Perfect in his motor setup. 4 HP into Act 4 with no feather um, fusion hammer. No potion use. And 550 go into the shop. Wow. That's... Some of the best thing you can see here. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, I'm not complaining. <laughs> yeah, that, that's actually insane. Ridiculous. How good that is. And now we can look at the rest of the shop because these are extremely clear things. Yeah? Rudy Capacitor and um, the skin. So now that we have the rest of the shop. So what do we have? Uh, by Scorp, no artifact. Dark Shackles plus is okay, but uh, it actually does not play, right? Our deck does not have artifact strip unless we have Halo World in play. Against the heart, it only block first time, first cycle. Spear and Shield, it can block turn 2, but only if we have Echo Form down turn 1. Or we have Halo World artifact strip or anything, or something. It doesn't actually work. So, uh, Dark Shackle as appealing as it looks, yeah, is probably just not doing anything. Which means we can do Happy Flower by Skog, the bomb removed with the bomb now is not needed. We have Rainbow Plus and the Consume and Unit Capacitor off slot, which is an insane amount of output. And basically, if the hard fight goes, uh, goes long, we are no longer too scared. Uh, Happy Flower not needed, right? Only 5 base energy. Madness is here. Uh, Mummified Hand as well. So I just do remove and bias core, yeah? Bias core can be used instantly in Spear and Shield as well. Yeah, we just use bias core instantly to front load block and then we probably kill them in time. The remove here would go on what? The bomb actually, I think, without Rainbow Plus, yes. But we do have a Rainbow Plus now, so it's no longer needed. Unless you tell me we need that against spear and shield damage, but um, I don't think so. <laughs> With the runic capacitor, now we have a lot of things that we can do. Like we can just block for quite a long time. Our return also full blocks on turn. <laughs> so just buy a score and remove a card. Uh, what is the worst card in this deck? There are two lines here, yeah? Line number one is as you say, Zap is just terrible. <laughs> so you can remove Zap. Line number two. The meme known. First of all, Sylvie Meme cannot even be removed. <laughs> and secondly, it's Psycho itself, so of course, it's not the remove target. But it cannot even be removed because it's bottled. But uh, the second line is that we play around this scheme. Double scheme, double madness now. And we remove the Halo Wood instead. And keep our deck small and play around with this scheme cycling idea. <laughs> Into a zero cost that we can maybe force. Can even double the madness sometimes. Our output is enough now, right? Yeah, really capacitor now. Our output is just enough. I just accept the madness is probably bad, yeah? Instead of having some garbage sun cost here. Yeah, and instead of having this garbage sunk cost. If you know, I'm not- I'm never infinite. Like, I don't make energy out of nowhere, I also don't have enough removes. It's just that I do draw into- repeatedly into my zero cost cards, like, faster. 
I can get permanent equi retained in hand and you can make more dark or whatever deal damage. But yeah, really capacitor should be enough output now to so remove that. And just ignore the madnesses. Like, okay, fine. We pick some madness plus to preserve our max HP and maybe now they break. But that's not a huge problem. I put bother is trying to get P box, so I think it gets transformed. I think it does get transformed because uh, there are some ways to remove auto cards, right? Ren with is one, and I think P box can do it too. I'm not sure if you can astrolabe the card away. Um, yeah, I'm actually not sure whether you can astrolabe the card away or not. Okay, just buy a score and remove that, yeah. Nothing else to do here. Don't buy this. Uh, potions are good. <laughs> Vision sucks. <laughs> okay, maybe Vision doesn't suck. Also, Equi owns because Equi guarantees full block next turn now. You can heal 14 or this and do want to have full draw next turn, yeah? So I don't want to... <laughs> Basically, if I play charge battery, reinforce is full block and if he's on, we still draw 5 cards. And playing defrag right now doesn't actually do anything important. So we probably just do that. Charge battery, reinforce and hold the 5 in hand. This takes one damage, okay, fine. I take one. Uh, Echo Form is down and we full block this turn. So that's very, 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 very good. What do I want to do? I can pro I can force a madness target right now. There's no frost orb, so I probably should seek for some and just ignore the vision here. We do want to play the consume at some point, though, but maybe not now. And with this kind of turns, I don't think I want to play by Scock now either. Just play by Scock later. Take for Echo Glacier. Play the Echo Hologram, the Equi. Play the Madness. Or just play the Madness first because some discounting Echo is not even so bad. Ah, oh yeah, Echo Glacier seems fine. Okay, not too bad. I ah, even get the rainbow down immediately, it's not too bad either. Don't actually need to play this now, yeah, but I will. Because I want to double glacier next turn. Captain's wheel this turn. Okay. Oh, if we draw defrag, I can double defrag instead. That's also fine. Ignore for next turn. Ah. Can buy a Skog now, but at the same time, there's no real reason to because um, this Nago is not guaranteed to end the fight. And maybe we can double loop and do consume and just full block instead. Scheme Plus is in here. We do here 14 after this. 
Fusion now, 6 energy, 6 draw, no retain though. No. You can probably play consume and then chill, but uh, and then rainbow maybe. Yeah, yeah, dual cast consume is reasonable, but we also have the compound driver here too. Maybe fissioning now is not so bad. Yeah, I think vision now is probably not bad. That goal is not too big yet. I don't need to... Yeah, I don't need to actually echo these loops. Man is going to discount the leap. Um, yeah, I guess that's fine. Don't need to loop frost or looping lightning is okay too. Can also play by Skog right now, but also again no reason to, so I won't. Yeah, we should be fine. I have place every pay, yeah? so I cannot take too much damage. But next turn this guy never attacks, so I'm only facing 52. And 52 is not a problem at all. Uh, blocking for this turn. I really want to double Thunder, but I don't think I can. Uh, 24, 33... Actually, I'm only facing 42. So, 37, 42, taking 5, and taking 5 is good. Actually, yeah, I can. I can do this. Pen with Leap is good. And next time we loop Frost. Block against this. If we even need to block, yeah, because it's dead. The bull will be good here. Oh, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's not dead, it's on HP. <laughs> but it's fine, fight's over. Yeah, fight is over. Uh, 45 damage. So, 65. I don't need to... Actually, he played Rainbow once, evoked this for 6 as well, so it also dies. Sometimes I debuff focus, but it should still be enough, so I play 1 card. And double Rainbow here should kill. Oh, single Rainbow already kills, so... Yeah, I got on 8, is fine. Yeah, yeah, I forgot this also. It's not 6 damage, it's freaking 24. Ah, <laughs> uh, so it's a slight mistake. Yeah, this should be on 9 instead of 8, but 8 is okay. Hologram plus attack. Draw pot next turn, not now, yeah? But Echo turn 1, very very good. Also set some ops in play already. 
Um, I can see double glaze here. I can also draw pot to double some scaling. Which, uh, honestly, I just use it now. That's not it. Uh, maybe it's still fine. Next one, Cutter's Wheel. Okay. So I can seek for two cards here to retain both. Uh, playing Fission now is very dumb. Well, maybe it's not that dumb, but it's pretty dumb. <laughs> it's not that dumb, actually. Let's Fission now. We are retaining, yeah? So, uh, I Hollow, I seek for... Consume to consume in the next turn. And maybe the Hologram. Cartons will just turn. I think Compound Rival is not bad. Okay, should be fine. We have no more power, so this is our scaling um, as far as it goes, but it's good enough. Let's go with Dark Oath and still Loot Frost. Um, plasma... Plasma is fine. Sixty passive block fifty. We can double madness here. Yeah, sure. Does not discount a thunder, <laughs> but that's okay. Vegas, no, no. Fire is not over yet. Fire is not over yet. We don't make a recursion yet, so this the uh, damage output is still potentially a problem. Shouldn't be, but it can be. It shouldn't be, though. No. It can still be. Oh yeah, by the way, bow landing in Act 4, yeah? Glacier to feel it's fine. Um, I think I want plasma, so I don't play this one soon, even for free. Hello, Byron. Double equi here, probably fine. Next one, always have Glacier, even if it's not. Um... Yeah, Voina is fine too. Don't do anything here. We still retain, so I don't actually even need to play Glacier this turn. Can continue looping this. But Glacier now is good too. Ah, Bow Lightning in Act 4. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> is that the best damage card now deck or what? Because it is. Uh, 
Oh yeah, there's fire. There's always full block next to uh, multi hit, and yeah, fight is over. We did. We decided to go to the safe path and act four, yeah. Because even with such a path, uh, for some reason, we still almost fucking die. <laughs> Just because of one chosen cultist fight, that's like crazy. And yeah, the leap, the leap, <laughs> the leap. No, the, of course, Act 4 shop was insane. Without this Act 4 shop, um, the hard fight would have been a lot more difficult. Even Spear and Shield would have been a lot more difficult. I think we will still manage because we have a uh, fairy left over with 50 health, so we have a lot of room for error. But um, yeah, Act 4 shop was insane. <laughs> Pretty crazy, you know? Like how bad the chosen cult this fight was. Like 4% pattern, bottom deck echo form... Drawing all real cards on the one turn where you don't have energy to play them all and then the deck has all days. <laughs> Even playing the lion side, that fight wrong, you also die, yeah? You don't play... Um... Like without the rebound streamline to kill the cultists immediately, the turn afterwards you're just dead. Your chosen swings again, and you can never kill Cautis. It hits you 24. And we had a 7 HP left at the end of Act 2, right? So, uh, a 20 HP swing is definitely killing us. <laughs> yeah, like, what the hell is this? Is that your yeah, fusion hammer, yeah, by the way? Rest, rest, and then rest again, and how much HP do you have? After this fire, we have 23. Rest again. This is already the safest path. One elite, only two fires. And then chosen cause is 32 damage and one potion use. <laughs> and reason quite with high side knowledge, I don't think I will do that. Because we know that we draw drill cast next turn. <laughs> but the idea behind... As you guys stream here, once again, do it in moderation and you're fine. <laughs> But yeah, that's the thing, eh? the, the reasoning to Liquid Memories on turn 2 is just because I see the swing already, there's no kill on Cultist ever. So uh, I need to make sure that I do not die turn 3 even with Captain's Wheel. But if I know that I would draw all the good cards, like the Glacier and whatever, I would probably save Liquid Memories so that we can Memory Streamline instead, or Glacier itself. It's still weird, I don't hate it. But um, it is something to think about. Himself was anything, I mean the algorithm is not super important at the end of the day though, because we saw runic capacitor here. Without the runic capacitor, um, this algorithm would be super 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 important in Act 4. And this one is actually not whatever. <laughs> so you pick Beam Cell here, this fight is probably a lot easier. And then maybe you don't really uh, just, you know, like half dead for all of these flaws. <laughs> This is so freaking rude though, I don't even know how much HP this costed us in this act. Eh? But like crazy. And it's perfect timing as well, because I literally was talking about, okay, one brick in your deck, it probably does not cost you so much HP, and then we get this crap. <laughs> and you can also see for yourself like, how much HP this loses us in the act 2, that's so much. 
In this fight, it loses a lot of HP. This fight definitely loses a lot of HP. This fight also loses HP. This fight probably didn't matter too much because we drew... Actually, drew very well this fight. Echo Form down turn 1. Oh, actually, no, no. This fight is not even Echo Form turn 1. This fight is before the 6. Yeah, this fight Echo Form on turn 4, but uh, the pattern was okay. Yeah, this fight is actually still Echo Form bottom deck, but uh, we are strong enough with the Sunder as well. And yeah, like not a single coded plus, but we just see two schemes, so cannot complain too much. <laughs> and yeah, Mummified Hand over removing the curse here. Last payoff at the end of the day, but it did almost kill us in this act. <laughs> no, the event is a curse. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I would. I definitely would. But otherwise, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Like, we go to triple question mark here, one, one elite and double dress. Like, it doesn't make any sense to pick this beam cell with the fusion hammer swap. Even after this V-Box. Oh yeah, pretty, uh, pretty okay run. Ah, uh, six now, and this one is like four hours. I guess I don't play one more. <laughs> yeah, one run per day, guys. One run per day. Until I die, then we can get more. Oh, Seal of the Week number 2 is up. Um, you are planning to play the Seal of the Week from Asuki later on? Be your lamb. <laughs> we are going there, so uh, better leave right now. Tier list? Yes. It's the tier list for powers on... Uh, all powers on floor 3, 2 or 3 over skip. So just like very early powers. Like, what do you pick? What do you skip? And like one. Hey, if you are planning to play Seal of the Week, uh, leave now, because there are spoilers. <laughs> I will probably play it later. But uh, probably not on stream, because too many people are here. And some of you might want to play yourself. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, as always, and see you. Holy oh, Zeknar raid. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Hi everybody, welcome to the Seed of the Week challenge. Um, oh. Let me just do the... Big. Old blurb thingy, seed of the... I can type week. Uh, if you want to play seed of the week yourself, uh, we're happy to have you, but you should leave. Yeah. <laughs> um, leaving to avoid spoilers, but good luck. Thank you for the good luck. There's what going up. Good luck.